Hey, shout out, shout out what it is, man. It's the King OC. Cash is man, it's Capo and Shady. Shout out Dub CNN. My own boy West Haven and how we do it big things all day. Coming through from LA, everywhere you go through. If you anybody and if you about anything, you best be checking Dub CNN, my niggas. It's bogus. Interview has long overdue, my man. It was yes, good. Sir. Dub What's CNN up, welcomes Cassius, man. Yeah, yeah. What's up, though? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. It's Bless. been a long time coming. This hey, interview, we've been interacting with each other for like probably like two or three years. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Every time you drop, I'm like you know, man, we got you, bro. Come on. I, I know I'm well aware of uh, who you are. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these vlogs you know, being on some sleep and stuff. Yeah. So let's start with you and before we get into your background thing, what you got going? No, you know what? Let's start with your background, bro. Okay. Start your background for those that don't know. Not, 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 not your background far as you know neighborhood and we don't get on that neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? We're on that neighborhood. But far as like you know the quote unquote hip hop heads that ain't up on you, them know Eminem's uh, ex Shady Records yeah. artists uh, been on songs with uh, collabor uh, compilations with Fifty Cent, Shady, all kinds of stuff. More stuff than I know. Can you tell the fans a little bit about? Yeah, Cassius. Well, man, Cassius, you know. Um Y'all first, probably first heard me on the re-up, you know, mm -hmm. Eminem presents the re-up, and that joint came out and sold, and I had like, like eight records on that, so that mm -hmm. was pretty much my introduction, I was all over that, that was, um, it was a blessing to be a part of that, man, mm -hmm. and then from there, y'all heard me with, you know, with M. Fev, Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, and Stack Quarmon Syllables, and you know, y'all voted that my verse was hot on that, so I appreciated <laughs> that, you know. Dope, we had the um had the county hound come out. We got number one on Billboard. He seekers with no promotion put that out in the slap, and became like a cult favorite. Dope. You know, uh, transition did Homeland Security with Young D. Yeah. And that was slap. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Hookie. and it's just been going. Who kid was on that? Uh yeah, who kid? Um, she had yeah, Corrupt, Freeway, Be Real. Man, it was like a gang, a gang of people like uh, Love Flub. Um, it was like a feature, like on every record, man. Yeah, that was, it was a that was a it was a dope tape to put together. You know, with my boy D, who go by Denver mm -hmm. now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Doing this Shout out thing. Denver. You Shout know, out Denver. Denver. You know, what I'm you know? Saying? Um, let's go back to that. So you mentioned the reup. Yes, the, sir. Uh, the when M Eminem came out with the reup and everything. Mm -hmm. I remember. Uh, was that the compilation? Yeah, that was the uh, the shady compilation. The one with the um the. Acting like you don't know. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, that's the one. I, that's the one that caught my ear. Yeah, you know, I'm still performing that right here. Okay, <laughs> thirteen years later. But that's the one that I remember. <laughs> I remember that was the one. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Like, oh. And I remember they were pushing you tough, Shady. Mm -hmm. right? You were like their flagship artist. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Then you know, they had the, uh, 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 you know, bizarre them group, the D12, and all he tries. But you around that time it was the one. Was the one. Yes, sir. You're pushing super tough. Mm -hmm. What um? But first of all, what was the experience like being on Shady Records? It was an excellent experience, man. It how was, did how did you get discovered? First of all, a demo chief. Okay. Like for real, like on some real hip hop shit, like a oh, real demo. You never hear artists get <laughs> put on by a demo. Real demo That's in the mail. A demo oh, coming from you, LA. You never in the mail to New York. You never hear that. In the mail. In that shit must have been fire. Yeah, you that never hear right. that, bro. That, it was like a once in a lifetime thing. Like that's right. why I'm like it had to be. It was destined for that destined. to happen because who? They don't even. I've been with labels and seen what they do. <laughs> they don't the, even know bro, this shit. Bro, I, I've God. seen it. You hear me? And I tried to get it, and I was like, "Y'all ain't gonna listen to it." Like, come on, you never know what it's gonna be. I, you know. Yup, bro. That's quite so a demo. A demo, real. So demo. he just hit you back. Man, uh, you was on the phone like, "No, nah, this ain't in me." Dark Parker, um, who was A and R, who was like. Dar's the man, like he had his vision was done, like, okay. and he hit back to my manager Richard Spoon was like, yo, this dude is hard, like who's no. this kid is hard, and then once him called like two days later, I was right. in a barber shop, you know what I mean, and he called me right. like, they was like, yeah, what's up, this <laughs> I knew you were right. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the phone, like nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, why are they playing with me? And then the call phone come again, and I'm like, hello? And they're like, it's, they're like, no, it's for real. And I'm like, all right. 
<laughs> and I'm listening, I'm like, damn, and in the middle of the conversation, I just fanned out. Because oh, first I was chilling, I'm around all my, right, my partners, right, and then I'm like, right, like wait a I minute. put it on speaker, I'm like, this like, nigga, this Eminem. <laughs> Listen, you hear this voice? This Eminem right now. And nigga's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it was hard. Crazy, was man. Hard. Crazy. Yeah, I knew at first she was like, nigga, who's breaking yeah. it? Yeah. I'm like, man, people playing, man. You know, yeah. I'm out here trying to handle business, and y'all over here playing, talking about right. Eminem. Right, right. So when you when you got put on, mm -hmm. how was it like working with with M in the in the shady camp? It was it was dope, man. Working with M was super cool. I didn't mm -hmm. work too much with um, the other, the other artists. I worked with Obi. Obi, okay. Um, I worked with I worked with Stack Car. I guess I did work, but in, but not like a bunch of times. I worked with uh, Bizarre. He okay. was on Pistol Popping, but. Um, him instead put his verse on there instead because he oh. said it was, you know, it was like a, him, he just felt like his verse would, would fit a little bit better, song. yeah, okay. with the, the pattern of the beat and stuff okay. like that, so we had that, um, I did, yeah, I had a record with Stack Cole came out on the pre-up mix site. Okay, oh, I remember that. And then, okay. um, yeah, I mean, I had records with Buck, uh, yeah. Fit, yeah. everybody, you know what yeah. I mean, you got yeah. records with everybody, but yeah. going in with him is who I really went in with, right. like, we would go in and like, you know, with the session be like eight hours, show up, and then like four, five hours, I had like 11, 12 records on it. I'm just be like, yo, and then every day, that's just how it was. <laughs> wow. He's like, man, you, you crazy. You used to come ready, huh? Yeah, I, mean, I, I just, ready, yeah. man, that cast a chance of a lifetime. Right. I can't let that, I couldn't nah, let that pass. Nah, I had to nah, make my mark right nah. quick, you know? And you did, you yes, did. Bro. And you, and you, and you, and you back with new stuff. Oh, and yeah, you know. <laughs> We're going to get into that too, you know what I'm trying to say. For Matter of sure. fact, before we... Cause it's a lot of stuff we're gonna cover, Cash, but let's go ahead and talk about that, bro. Okay, yeah, the, uh, the new it. stuff you got going on, oh, some of the yeah. stuff we've been featuring on Dub CNN, the pacing I video, it, all the tell, tell the fans that ain't up on it, they just sleeping. Yeah, man, <laughs> hopefully, if y'all sleeping, you can wake that ass up right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got uh, CH4, which stands for County on Photo, just came out mm -hmm. on the 6th, and it's been well. and. It's popping, man. That's like my that right there. It's like my press playing ride too. That's like the vibe. Well, that's the vibe I'm on right now. Right now. You know what that's I mean? Now. It's like, you know, it's structure. It's like um, it's it's like grown man rap. You know what I mean? It's super. It's, it's bars. It's lyrics, but it's direction. It ain't like the same. Just um, like I found direction in life. I found kind of a purpose a little okay. bit. You know, like you said, you it took a little time to decide. Mm -hmm. I did the same thing because mm -hmm. you can't do the same thing forever. You can't. You gotta find y'all yeah. step back. This ain't working. Yeah. I gotta. Yeah. They I'm gonna, already know. They gonna give us life if we do the same. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm end up in a bad place. Yeah. I keep going down this road, y'all. You know, Yo. it's it's hard to it's hard to balance that music because mm -hmm. people listen to your music, right? And then they don't understand you're a human being, mm -hmm. you're a real person. Mm -hmm. So you might see me at the girl store, you might see right. me at the gas right. station, you might cut me off in traffic. Right. I'm that right. same I'm nigga that's like, right. 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, I'm the same person. Too, you know, like, I'm like a hobo by something. I just yeah. lost yeah. it right now. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the way it be. So they don't, you know, I, I had to just kind of figure out, let me kind of transition my audience with, with me as I'm maturing and growing up, I kind of want to bring them up to speed because right. my audience is, they growing up with me, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. So right. most of my audience is at this same spot, like, all right, man, we, we still in it, but we trying to figure out how we can go ahead and slide up out of this and be more legit and be focused on building things for the future, exactly. you know? Exactly. That's what I'm looking towards. I'm looking right. towards the next, the next 20, 20 years or so to where, I can just be chilling, exactly. you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. trying yes, to do, like, open some businesses and buy some buildings, and mm -hmm. I got a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of little investments and mm -hmm. stuff like that that I've been doing. So that's kind of where I was at, and now I was like, I'm back on it with this music. Yo, you yo, know? yo, re get the real life in order. Something you gotta take a step back and get that real life in order. Yeah, man. So, the CH4, yes, y'all go sir. get that right now. Play. Stream it, Spotify, mm -hmm. Cash is CH4. Well, you dropped another project last year, you've been consistent. Yeah, it was one uh, even in March. In March, March, right. Yeah, the Art of Living. That's the Art of Living. That's what and um, uh, What Cash is About video right. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You guys go get that too. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. The Art of Living. Uh, for that, sure. yeah. Tell them a little bit about that project. Oh, yeah. The Art of Living. That, um, I did that with Cleopatra Records. Um, and it was just a dope project, man. It was a it was a tape that I had sitting together that I was going to put out. Okay. And then, um, you know, my man's... 
my man's Eddie and you know, Hustle and Ode came through and, and got the bag. So I'm like, let's go no. get it. Nice. And we turned in a, a bomb album and people seem to like that too. No. So it's cool, no. you know. No. But the right now is the CH4. CH4 is nice. the only I'm not gonna let you get on here and let and not promote that, bro. CH4 is the full focus. That's the CH5 coming out in <laughs> December too. I'm coming. Coming right back, yeah. CH, CH5 coming out in December. I'm coming right back. Every yeah. quarter, y'all gonna have a new project. Every quarter. Right. So, back to uh, the, the interview with my man Cassius, okay? You, you got on. Um, what happened to Shady that made you know, what? No, I know, you know it's business, everything, but how did that situation? How did this go apart, right, right, right. Um, You know, that's a good question. Um. It didn't really fall apart. I just needed to do something different. Yeah. Like um, right. maybe like three, four years into it, I started just being like, man, I kind of want to do just do something independent because I I was waiting to get an album out, right? Right. And I had the EP came out, boom, it came out and it sold. So the double CD, Loose Cannon, was what we was doing next, and it was pretty much recorded. Like, dog, we had like. Um, I had just did a record with uh, John Legend on the hook. Dumb. We had, it was like a bananas project. Dumb. It was crazy. Like Dumb. I had Lil Wanda. I had like, like I mean, I'm getting the studio on like Wyclef and then like, so it's like, dude, it was going to like another level. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't going to be what people would assume. Right. It was going to be crazy. And just doing that, man, like I started, you know, like I was ahead of my time in certain ways. Like I came into the game if you go back, I was rapping about Xanax, Collider Pen, all kind of shit. Right, the people right, didn't know what right, it right, was. Right, right. I know, you know I what I mean? Like on my original songs. Yeah. yeah. But that wasn't rap. That was for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 and, right. And my boy right. Problems. You know, everybody know Problems from Compton. You know what I'm right, saying? My right. boy Problems. I asked him, we come to the studio. Um, like before, before me and him was even on, and he like, fam, you got, and I was a young nigga, all these kids still, yeah, I had yeah. all these kids, and we, I'm stopping recording, we smoking Halloween, and I'm selling pills and shit in the middle of the thing. And he, <laughs> Damn it. You used to rap about that. Yeah. I remember that for sure. Yeah. So that shit was real. Yeah, that's my real life. Everything I rap about is my real life, and I try to contextualize it in a, in a way that won't get me in trouble. Right. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what it is. I try and what other people may embellish, I try and yeah. down You it. figure yeah. it out. Right. I, I, mm. I pull it down mm. a little bit mm. so it don't go crazy. Don't you know, because I don't want to lead people the wrong way. Wrong I knew that what I was doing was self-destruction. You right. get what I'm right. saying? Right. But right. that's the mode that I was mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And and some people, if they, they'll, they'll, they'll put that on you forever. Mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm trying to say? It's so many yeah. people that see me today and are like, I can't believe it. Like, your eyes open, you this. And I'm like, bro, it's been years since I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like dude, like, man, come on, years. man. Like, oh, look. Man. I, wish I, I wish you never saw that. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And at that time, I was still doing music. Like, right. I. I, I was like that. Like, I was in the studio with Eminem for two days and took a hundred values and was smoking over an ounce of weed every day. Like, and. You were a bad influence on Eminem. And that was a problem for everybody. They was like, you know, without. I wasn't. Um, I never convinced Eminem to do anything, no right. shit like that. Right, right, right. But if you got a partner. Me, look, yeah. I smoke weed, okay? And, and, and if you with somebody that smoke weed, mm -hmm. y'all gonna smoke more weed. It's you just the, it's the equation. Mm -hmm. If you and you with somebody that don't smoke weed, you gonna smoke less. Yeah, that's, that's how, 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 how it goes. That's I know, how it bro. Goes. You need another pit. I already yeah. know. No, it was know. just yeah. like, man, yeah. 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 and we never done anything like together like no shit like like no drug type shit like that he was more yeah. it's a rap for me <laughs> like, I know no no it's a rap that's it I don't want to go back to this that like oh man I was yeah. just got no, 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 right. we supposed to be yeah. we supposed to be yeah. problems yeah. on our own like you yeah. know what I'm saying like uh, y'all yeah. keep that cold turkey man I didn't even need nothing yeah. bro I didn't, no, no, I need nothing <laughs> I need a nic nicotine patch I, I, need nothing. I need nothing I need nothing out there him <laughs> coming to me like that Open my eyes. It, from like the homies around me that could see it was a problem. I was just like, man, y'all, y'all can't tell me shit because y'all doing the same shit as I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I may be doing more than you, but you can't be like, oh, it's a problem right. if you're doing it with me. Right, 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 right. He wasn't doing it with me, so. So he was I, a good influence. He was on a, you. a great influence. Oh, like, mm -hmm. like he was like, you know, like cracking jokes and doing stuff like okay. that. He was putting me up on game, oh. like life game, like mm -hmm. showing me. Um, 
like draw, he drew like pictures for my kids and shit, like hand drew like crazy ass what? X Men and crazy shit and signed in and autographed it for each of them. And they all got it framed up in all their rooms. Still, they had when they was little. Oh. They still got them shits framed up in their rooms. So he was showing me that, and I'm like, man. That's I bad. feel like I didn't have any time in the world to do anything. And I'm like, I'm nowhere near the level with that of a business that Eminem is. Right, 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 right. But, right. He's major but you got time to do yeah. this type of shit. So I, it made me start thinking, like, man, maybe I'm not, I'm doing the wrong things with my time. Maybe instead of kicking on the set all day, maybe I can work on something different, you know? And it it, it helped a lot. You so know he mean? really took you under his wing. Yeah, he didn't like, treat you like a, just an artist. You on the label, I don't want to talk to you. No, like, call me every day. Like, right. literally, he called me and we talked to each other every day. Like, we have a lot of personal stories, like, like, man-to-man -man advice, like, that right. he would, he would, he would, he would ask for me from, and then mm -hmm. other things that I would tell him from. So I think that a youthful energy and the shit that I was on was helping him right. and keeping him going, and that older, mature energy was helping, helping me you. to understand, like, because hmm. when I'm with him, like, yeah. You know, like, I ain't got to have no pistol. I ain't got to. Mm -hmm. I mean, he like, man, you in Detroit, how you got guns in Detroit? I'm like, man, my brother's in Illinois. I'm like, you know, like, <laughs> and my brothers came up to the studio with me. I'm like, yeah. yeah. He like, oh, you got a bunch of people out here. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We up we in the good, strip man. clubs at night. <laughs> it's like, you know, 2, 3 in the morning. We on 8 mile now. I'm outside and he like, man, you know, his, his security people tell him, like, man, cash is wild. <laughs> I'm like, I just got we, 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 we don't need us. Yeah. Here. I'm like, I got all my family <laughs> live out here, so I can So you do. got people from wow. Detroit? Detroit. Yeah, I got people like my That's family. Chicago, Detroit, uh, Ohio, so oh. the, the whole Indiana, or the Midwest, Minnesota, the, the Midwest. whole Midwestern, there ain't a place that in the Midwest that I can't go to that I ain't got family at. Wow. Like literally, I get, that's where my whole concentration of family, I got family in New York, my sisters in New York, wow. I got family in Texas, like. You born it, and raised out here? I'm born and raised in Chicago. Wow. Chicago? I'm born and raised on the south side of Chicago, 79th, Lime City. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Everybody south east side, everybody know where I'm from. Wow. But I came out here and I hit Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? When? Okay. By about what's the age? I was around like 16. Okay. My mm -hmm. mom was like, um... West Coast turned you out? <laughs> it was like, I was in the too much all the time. I wasn't okay. coming home, right? My mm -hmm. mama lived out here. She was living in, uh... Um, she was living in L.A. For a minute, she was living in Oakwoods. Oakwood? Yeah, like them, uh, off Barham or some shit like okay. that. And then she moved into the city of L.A. Okay. And then when she moved into the city, that's when I came out. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Because gotcha. I, I, I ain't come home for a month. And my granny like, man, this boy is like, I, I skipped school, skipped grades twice, okay. right? So I graduated high school at 15. Once. That's crazy. So yeah, that's I was crazy. just bad as hell. I was no, 16. That's crazy. I had no parental, <laughs> like, no, it was no guidance, guidance for a while. Because, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? My mama out here. You, you know what I'm saying? You've been in life and you 15 years old. Yeah, wow. Uh, like, <laughs> out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So then my granny, like, I can't control that no more. Like, and she didn't want nothing to happen to me. You know what I mean? And I'm out and I, I come back. It went from come home. Every day, at least once a day. Then it went from at least call. Then it went from keep call at least a couple of days. Oh, call every week. week. <laughs> and then it was like a month. I ain't show. Then I just show back up and I just got a pocket full of money and shit. Like, uh, man, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. You're, you're, you're yeah. no good, boy. Yeah. Let me uncle sit you down and read this Bible smoke. scripture to yeah. you real quick. Oh. A couple of my uncles that got killed already. And oh. like, somebody came through uh, my granny house and I was coming home. Like, after the time I came home and I'm walking through, like, we had gangways in Chicago, so the right. houses are close to each other. Like, you can put your hands and feet like this Between and climb up to the roof of the house. I used to do that shit all the time. Okay. So, I'm coming through the gangway, and a cop, because we, we live on one-way streets, so they okay. come through a 78 and Lane, they come through 7831, and I'm, I'm walking around the gangway, and pop, 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 so I dip, and I run in and hit the, the fence, and then mm -hmm. running through our back through the basement. Yeah. And... It was bullet holes and like the little gutters and shit like that. Yeah. So, you know, my granny wake up, my auntie, everybody like, what's going on with you? And I, I slide in the house like it wasn't me. I'm like, I heard that shit too, granny. I don't know what's going on. I was in the basement. But she wasn't no fool. You know what I mean? My granny right, went dumb. Right, she right, let me right. think that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right. But, and then she just told my mama what was going on and then uh, they got me about. That's when they sent you out here. Mm -hmm. So you, you were in, in the streets out wow. stuff out there. Wow. 15 years old, done wow. with school. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And then Got I came you. out here, and me and my little cousin, we just, and my little brother was really little, my little cousin, we, like, a year apart, and we just went, like, we, we went crazy, man. Okay. We started 
we went to, we was all in Pasadena. <laughs> we was all in just, it was just like, we was going out to Southern California to where I felt like, man, I got people in every city. Like, right. I can pop in every city and call somebody like, what right. up, man? Right, right. They like, oh, man, what right. up? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I be like, like I sound like I sound like a nigga from Chicago. You know right. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, when you rap, you do sometimes. Mm -hmm. I noticed that when I first listened to you back in the day, I was like, you got a little southern like accent. Yeah, like, and the way I move. Okay. My, you know, my my grandparents from the south, so I know when I hear it, like, yeah. hey man, it's like you know what I mean. But then when you when you look at it, like you got that's like my my foundation, right? Right. And so. Like my mentality is always seventy nine. Like the way I think, the way I move, the way I act. South side Chicago. It's just like, mm -hmm. is like I always think like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I'm always like who these. I'm always like okay, I'm gonna be in the con. I ain't gonna go the same way to get home. Never this <laughs> twice. You feel me? Like no matter what type of neighborhood. It can be I'm the just, nicest neighborhood. Never, never, right. Right. never. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Just because I know what real life is and I know the things that I know situations I, I've been a part of right. and the situations I've seen right. and I've seen like I didn't have police smoke my homies and try and put it on opposite gangs like wow. it's the not so I I know like I just can't trust nothing like that Gosh. you know what I'm saying Gosh. but in people know me like besides like you know the city in Chicago and all that yeah. but when you come out here niggas know man I'm, they know I'm, I'm out here they right. know where it's right. coast like right. when you see Cash is, is Easily related to the West Coast. Right, right. I smoke I, I, West I, I, Coast I, I, weed. I, I drive West Coast cars. I'm about to go right West Coast. I'm about to go right in. West Coast food. I'm about to go you know right in. Yeah. I ain't you, never leave. You rep the OC. Yes, you sir. Work. And you probably, probably no probably, probably no probably, mm -hmm. the biggest artist, yeah, hip hop sure. artist out of the OC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ford yeah. doing this thing too. Yeah, my boy Ford doing this yeah, thing too. Down. So, how 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 is it? Um, how's the dynamic of being? Uh, 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 a reputable uh, uh, figure and artist out of the OC, and OC doesn't get a lot of respect right. in the hip hop game. How, how, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, what, man, you already know. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the main reasons why I talk to you because people will sleep on it. Like, ain't no, ain't no real ones over here. It's always yeah. real ones. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, for real. Period. And so that's what people had to learn when I came in the game. They had to learn that because I could have easily. I can't. You could have banged Inglewood. Yeah. Like, That's you, what I'm you saying. I can't even straight that. You know what I'm saying? My mama tried to get them to erase a year off of school to put me in Hamilton High and all this shit. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they was trying to, she's like, man, let's get him because she know if you leave me in the street. And she was working. So the same shit happened in California that happened in Chicago. Right. I'm like, man, luckily, I went up to the Beverly Center and I seen a nigga I went to school with in Chicago. And I'm like, you out here now? Oh, man, Yo. let's go. Let's get some money. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was, like, it was yeah. cool. I felt like this was a perfect place for me to be. Yo. And I could have easily relied on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I Easy. never could have I could have never said O C. I never had to stay in O C. My aunties and my cousin them still talking. stay in Inglewood. I could be up there right now. I never had to come down there. Like but I did that for a fact. Even when I was up there all the time, I was still yeah, saying O C I was yeah. still saying O C so people could recognize yeah. Yeah. that. And then I was that's making dope. it like when you see me in spots and they see me in some hood spots and I'm in liquor stores and I'm doing shit with Remy and we going over and I got big ass four fives sitting <laughs> off of me and they like man <laughs> they like, damn, you from OC? Right, right. That's how they getting down up there now. I need to we take the trip. Like, oh, it's it's cracking in OC. Where the club see. at? I wanted people to see that. Like, fam, it was <laughs> shit going on. Like, right, right. It, it's not like, it's it's way better now than it was even before. Before right. a while, it was, you got, I know the drug shit was out of control it's, it's in the still OC. Like okay, that. I know that. That's sure. still cracking. Okay, yeah. You can get man. If you if you a meth dealer, you can get rich. Man. Just being real, heroin and all that, you can mm -hmm. get rich as fuck mm -hmm. out there. And they don't mm -hmm. believe. They don't believe. Say it again. They don't believe it. <laughs> but that's the truth. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. You can get rich out there. Super rich. A freaking meth dealer, dude. I know, bro. Super rich. Or, or a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Rich out there. They go crazy with it. Like, that's oh the type God. of crime that's different. Like, yeah, it's, it like, it's like higher higher class crime. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in the ghetto, you'll fight gang of robberies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gang of robberies. Just dumb shit. Fights. Somebody beat somebody up for no mm -hmm. reason. Over there, it's like really like, like money oriented yeah. crimes. And then so. shit go down for the money. And you got like. I mean, it's money in Compton, you yeah. trust oh, me. Bro. But you know what I'm saying? Know. But some dumb shit going on in Compton, too, yeah. okay? <laughs> like, it's crazy, know. but out there it's more like you know, everybody's on a mission, like getting money type type deal. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of like, OC, what 
was your experience like in the OC? Cause I, cause I know you, you, you. I've been you, all around the OC, so it was cool. Like I had, I like it's like OC is like North County, South County, right? That's how it go. And niggas from North County have no respect for niggas from South County. Wow. And niggas from South County, how do I say it? People from <laughs> South County be more on their money. In the, on the outside. Okay. Like you might think it's some broke motherfuckers in Santa Ana, but it's some rich motherfuckers in Santa Ana and Anaheim. It's some niggas with money. It's some niggas doing everything. <laughs> doing the most for out sure. there. But <laughs> but they'll keep it cool. You know what I mean? They'll keep it in a nice ass crib. But it ain't too much. It ain't too nice. It ain't too much. It might just look decent on the outside, but you walk in the crib, you like, damn, this nigga killing it. Yo, 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 yo. The the ones be active. The police be active out there because they know. They know. I heard that. I heard that man. Man, they know. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so it's like certain spots. Like I've lived everywhere. You know what I mean? So like, you you got involved in the gang culture too. Oh yeah. How did that happen? Um, you get in Chicago or yeah, what? Yeah, Chicago. I've been. All right, you know what I'm saying. I, <laughs> I, I, I can get you the homie. I, I can reveal my a little bit of my life okay. story. I never, I never broke this real. shit down before. So that's why I asked. Out. I wanted to hear. This, this Check it out. They got uh. That's what I grew up in. I grew up as part, a part as growth and development. Um, if you just look at the initials, yeah. you already know what's happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you know what I'm saying. You see, I do no yeah. follow up question. Yeah. Yeah. So, feel you like, I grew up they growth and development, out. As a, and I was on the shorty count. You know what I mean? Right. So I've been, I was growth and development my whole life. Right. Like it never, I never had an opportunity to think or change or do anything different. No. It was no. like, literally. Like I was one of the youngest, like like we were like, you know, eight, nine years oh, old, like no. it was our whole little neighborhood. So it started off like a brotherhood. It was more so like we were all just you had everybody's big brothers was you know, and we was a kid, so we was just and we would just kick it around them and right. it just like I didn't even know that's what it was. At <laughs> right, first. I was right, I was right, learning club right, shakes right. and all this and oh yeah, whoop, whoop, right, whoop. right, right. But I didn't know like I didn't piece it together until maybe I was like ten or eleven, and I really understood. Like, oh wow, this is what this, this is what it this is. is what, right, this is what I am. Yeah, this, right, this right, what yeah. this what I'm about. Right. And but I was always the one that was cool. Like okay. one thing about me, I always been about money, right? right? So whereas everybody else, they okay, they be trying to ride on somebody mm -hmm. for no reason, mm -hmm. and that's cool. But I'm serving everybody. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, like right. I'm always like I always been serving. Right, like, right. Since I was You're not like, gonna discriminate no. because somebody got a different color on. <laughs> I could care less. <laughs> like it was all about if you if you coming at me or my neighborhood section, mm -hmm. then we got a problem. Right. But if you like if you're cool, not yeah. cool. What? Right. Because right. <laughs> man, it's been people it's been times I've been slipping out of bounds and niggas and saved my life. Oh, you know what oh, I'm saying? Like oh. man, let him pass. He cool. Like that's oh, a because they know I'm a, if you ask me, I'm gonna stay on my ground. I'm willing to take I'm I'm willing to go out because that's that was at that point that's who like when you in it, you in it. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And now I've graduated to a point where I can um I'm not a, a gangbanger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm right. always be a member. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. I'm never. Right. I'm, I'm on. You go see me at little picnics mm -hmm. and functions. You go see me shaking over my jeans, mm -hmm. but you ain't go see me in a car going to ride on no gangbanger shit. And right. you see right. me trying to steer the little homies in a whole positive, positive direction. Way. Like okay, right. cool. Because I don't necessarily feel this bad. Like how the outside world look at it. Like it's just because it's not all. I bad. agree because. That was what I saw word don't realize you do have your super bad apples as you mm -hmm. and I both know in every set. Mm -hmm. You know you got some maniacs. Hell yeah. Up, okay? Hell yeah. Maniacs, Hell right? Yeah. But the majority of people aren't like that. Nope. And a lot of them would want to do something else. Do something better with their life. But mm -hmm. this is their life right now. Yeah. And and they gonna do it to the best to the best they can right you now. You got to. That's how it is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it's like that camaraderie. You know, yeah. and it's like yes. they don't understand. Like they just think every time a homie like, hey, I want you to go. A homie will tell you like, man, you tripping. Your homie is the one mm -hmm. that can tell you like, man, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you tripping, man. Mm -hmm. You gonna fuck everything up. Mm -hmm. You gonna get it hot for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and those are people you go listen to. Yep. You ain't gonna listen to a civilian mm -hmm. tell you that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yep. it's it's good mm -hmm. and bad to everything, and that's wow. the way that I grew up with it. You know what I mean? Like 
I have family members as black sons. I have my brother was conservative advice lord. My big brother, rest in peace. I love my brother to death. You tell me I'm not supposed to like my brother because he was a, right. a, a black star. Right. You know, I mean, a vice lord and my other brother is a star. Like, no, I love my family. Can I ask you two questions about yeah. that? No, not, not, no, nothing negative. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Growing up, I have a couple of family members in Minnesota. Right? Mm -hmm. That's how me I got too. it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think it's Burnsville, Burnsville, Burnsville. One city out there, a little city out there, close to, uh, to uh, St. Paul, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's like I uh, found out, first heard about the uh, the uh, G, the growth and development, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the other ones. I don't know the total. Uh, I get what you're saying. Word for that one. And it was always one of them was more affiliated, like affiliated with Crips, one of them affiliated with Bloods. Always hear that stuff. Mm -hmm. But you guys always have like the growth and development, and I forgot what you said for the other one, but it, it seemed more politically mm -hmm. driven mm -hmm. with the with the with the with the with the, with the movements. Yeah. And, and I like that. Yeah. Uh, 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 you want to speak on that a little bit? Yeah, it was like... You know, out here are the streets. Yeah. Out there, that seemed like a bigger movement. Mm. Yeah, but then it's also similar. Like, the the spirit is the same. You okay. know what I mean? Like, um, Chicago, like, it was definitely a political, more political situation. And it's definitely more like... Okay, well, I, like, what I learned... What I learned from being in Cali is like, oh shit, just cause he a crip and he a crip don't mean they get along. Right. I learned that shit quick. <laughs> Definitely didn't know that. You know what I mean? Like, damn. I'm like, damn, I got shot at for hanging around these niggas. I'm like, you know what? I ain't kicking the job. I just got out here. Yeah, so I was, I'm calling people back home like, hey, this is the shit. It's just like Chicago. Okay. Like, they is not playing so that. It's, like, it's the same yeah. type mentality. It's the, it's the same mentality with like, when I grew up, it was more so like we listened to a, like somebody. You know what I mean? Right. Like my the uncle, hierarchy. Yeah, and like my uncle Derek, right? He's like rest in peace. He was for the the, the head for the bogus boys, right? That's what I be saying. Like, that, right. That's what I read. Your name. But you know what I mean? Like that set was over all the normal. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whereas my set from Sandy Night, we from Langley. You know what I'm saying? So. We Lion City, and that was Bogus Boy. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but they was like hit me, and they would go out and go put in work. Gotcha. You know what I'm and if you did something out of, out of pocket, out of pocket, it was gonna be something gonna happen out of pocket. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And now it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like yeah. whatever. Because they destroyed the structure. They thought when they locked up all the, the leaders, they thought when they gave the all them a million years and mm -hmm. did all this, they locked up, you know, uh, Chief Malik and Wak They locked up all the people from all the other, like the other nations and everything. Right. Right. And it left no structure. Chaos. It's like this. If you got a, if you a, it's like this. If you a parent, right, and you love your kids. Yeah. Say if you ain't the greatest parent in the world in the eyes of the world, but like right. you take care of your kids, you ain't beating on your kids, right. doing no weird shit to your kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's better for your kids to stay with you. Like I could be a, a fully active gang member right. and be making cooking dinner for my kids, right. making right. sure they do that shit. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. And if you were to remove me from that household, you would think you would think, oh, I'm I'm doing this a benefit for my kids. It would fuck my kids up, right, and they would right. turn super. They would turn worse than I right. was. Right. You get right. what I'm saying? Yeah, because there's yeah, no yeah. structure. Just because before it was niggas that was doing shit that was telling you you don't do it. Right. 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 We doing right, this right, shit, right, and right, you don't right, do right, it. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? You, like you choose a better way. Bro, the set and put niggas in college. They don't understand the set and pay mm -hmm. niggas it, like. Like it before it was it was different. Like somebody get caught up and get locked up across the side, yeah. nigga, we always pitching in and get to help this nigga get out. So, you know what I'm saying? That's no, the way it was and then no, when they no. took that away it kinda broke it. Right. And then the people became more renegades. And that's where I became more of like you know, like I, t I adapted the, the LA lifestyle. Like right, man, right. anybody can get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoever it is, anybody. You know what I mean? I'm cool with yeah, who I'm cool yeah. with, yeah. and anybody out of line gonna yeah. get it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So yep. Yep. I switched my philosophies like that. Yep. And then OC, it was growth and development in OC. It was already out, out there? Mm -hmm. wow. I, wasn't, I didn't bring it out there. Wow. I was just like, more of the more focal one. I was right. the one that just went out there and would be like, hey. I did not know that was bang. already out there. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it was already out there. Crazy. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? They out here, I know, but. Oh, yeah. It. It's, we in LA. We in <laughs> super crazy in SD. San Diego on Oceanside. We super crazy. Okay. You know crazy. what I'm saying? Crazy. I know but that. But it's, 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 that's all over. You know right. what I mean? Like, but it's, 
I like it like I like it how it is because you might not know. You know what I mean? Right, right. And it's that's the way our our shit is supposed to be. Right. Like whereas California, more so like you can flag up, you mm -hmm. can bang, you can bang your music, you can let people mm -hmm. know who. Like when I started doing that shit in music, niggas was talking to me crazy. <laughs> like, why are you saying this? Why are you doing this? I just saw folk nation and niggas had problems. Like, why are you doing why are you saying this? I'm like, man, like, I'm just representing. Right, right. Like, right. fam, I'm out here. I'm in LA now right, in California. Right. So this how we represent. Right, you know what right. I mean? If anything got a problem with it, see me. Right. You know? And now I see a lot of other people. Now they're that's how they're, yeah. Now it's like oh you can just rap and claim your gang and be from. But before they was when you doing came it. out, it was it mm -hmm. was not as uh, uh uh you can get away with it as easy. Especially not coming from Chicago, you couldn't talk like that. It okay. wasn't no other rappers like we knew like. Um, yeah, you're right. We knew uh common. You knew, we knew common was full solid. Just, we knew common is full solid. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you know that. If you grew up in Chicago, right. but then you also knew that when he dis you know what I'm saying? He said you bumped into a folk on the hustler, lying on your dick, show saying you was fucking him. You know what I'm saying? Me. So oh that's the way you put it out there. Like we don't, yeah. we're not supposed to go overboard because it's that it's supposed to be silence and secrecy. It's supposed yeah. to be all low key shit. Got you know what I mean? Because it. it's it, it's not a gang, it's an organization. Right. It's a nation. It's, it's deeper than that. You know right. what I mean? Right. So, so being involved in. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Your story is crazy. Being involved in all this, how'd you gravitate to 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 bars, to rapping, to music, or was that always in you? Um, I used to uh, freestyle, and okay. now I used to just write stories and write like gangster shit. Like, okay. But I didn't write raps. You know what I mean? Okay. Until later on. Okay. But you just um, writing gangster. Yeah, I was just writing like gangster stories. stories, like you know, like shit you be like. You know, trying to like want to sell a book, like writing a like writing a book about the most gangster shit you ever Donald seen. Donald Goins type shit. Yeah, but it's all real, but you know, fake names Donald and all this shit, but like the realest Donald shit you can ever think Donald of. Cause I'm like, nigga, the life I was living. That's why I gravitated to Tupac so much. Yeah. Cause I was like, man, I'm like 13, 12, 13, 14, living this nigga's life. Right, like right. the shit that he's saying, we getting right, shootouts right, every right, day. Right, like right. all this shit happening. Like, <laughs> So I can relate to that shit. Yeah. You know, like I thought he made Shorty was a thug. It was about me. Like Crazy. I was like, man, he wrote that song about me. Crazy. You know what I mean? Cause I was a nice middle class nigga. Nobody knew the evil I do. Like a little bit. You know what I mean? That's the way I felt. You know what I mean? Like damn, nigga, fuck my life. You know what I'm saying? You guys, that dope, shit was bro. Real, That's man. dope, bro. So. Uh, you kind of mess me up with now and bring up Pac, you know what I'm saying? Like, I you know, Pac, I love man. you some Pac, bro. I mean, I come on Pac, now. <laughs> you start quoting yeah. lyrics and stuff. Yeah, like, man. I still Switch my whole mind up, okay? Yeah. Speaking of that, who's your favorite MCs, man? Of all time, what yeah. you seeing all right now? Oh. All time. All time. <laughs> all time. I don't want to throw nobody in All, all time. time, I'm going to have to say, and I ain't going to say no, no order. I'm just nah, gonna no say order. people already like, I'm gonna say Pac, Snoop, okay. Jay Z, no, no. Twister. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I love Twister. A lot of people sleep on Twister. Yeah, I love Twister. Yeah, really. um, Fastest rapper ever, shoot. Um, let me see who else somebody that I listen to all the time. DJ Quick, I love DJ okay. Quick. Oh, yeah, I love DJ me too, Quick. Me too, me too, me um, too. Um, yeah, all them <laughs> Let's see. You know what, uh, Lil Wayne, dog. Lil Wayne. Wayne's a fucking problem. Wayne. Lil Wayne is. It. Wayne had bars. Wayne he kind of awesome. like, kind of like slowed up a little bit. You know, now he ain't putting out as much music as he did, but he was. Yeah, Wayne is. Wayne is on that. Is on that level. Um, tip. I used to like tip shit. Q-tip. Oh, not no, Q-tip. Uh, uh, T.I. 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 Oh, T.I. And then um. I love Ice Cube. Oh yeah. I love Ice Cube. Oh, yeah. Kendrick. I think Kendrick. Kendrick is a beast. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. damn, who else? Who else, man? It's like a. Uh, I know it's hard because if you. Oh man, I know because niggas gonna be like, oh, you ain't say a Biggie. I fuck with Biggie too. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I fuck with Biggie too. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. um, and as far as like big. Like people that's like been out there. I mean, now it's like people, you know, but other than as far as big people, um, like I like, obviously, like 50 Cent, I like his shit. I right, like right. Dipset. It's just like I listen to everybody's shit. I listen to, like, I like, if I want to go for bars and I'm listening like Crooked, right, I'm listening to shit like right. that. It's like I have Crooked. different. Shout out Crooked, that's the word. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, um, 
what was I been listening like yesterday I was listening to fucking NWA and DJ Pooh and Threat uh Nowhere to hide. Oh, I was, I was going, going, come on. Ooh, yeah, I was loving that. Nowhere to hide. That, 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 was, that. that was the one back then. Oh, yeah, then. and Nip, man. I love Nip's oh, shit. God. And not just because he passed, rest right, in peace. Right, yeah. And Nip's a cool nigga, man. Like, I, did, I, you, did you meet Nip? Yeah, I met Nip more, uh, okay. uh, more than a few times. Nip so, was what, was, cool. what, what was Nip like in person? He was hella cool. I, we I, just, you know, always did the industry talk. Like, man, we go work. You know what I'm saying? We do and just never did. Okay. But he was always a solid stand up dude. Yeah. His presence and his aura was always. Is respect, you know what I mean? No. And what he be saying in his raps, like that's the shit I always like. Like I listen to what you saying, right. and if I can believe you, if I don't believe that, you, me getting the same way, forget right. about it. That's yeah. that's, passion, that's right. why I like Ti, cause I'm like nigga, I believed him. Right. You know what I mean? Like, um, that's why I like Bump J, like from Bump Chicago. J. Bump J, from Chicago, Bump that's J. Right. That's and right. he back out still doing hard shit. He, right he got now. locked up. He did mm -hmm. like 10. Mm -hmm. He came back and he dropped. He did I Don't Feel Rehabilitated and he got some more shit coming okay, out right now. Bump that. shit hard. And Bump be like, I listen to niggas like I'm saying, if I can, if if your lifestyle don't move me, right. I ain't gonna listen right. to you. Cause I don't listen to music just to dance. You right. know what right. I mean? Right. Or I can do that if I'm, you know, we still and we out somewhere, right. they can play some little boy shit and if it sounds good, But if I'm gonna ride to it, too. Uh, right. what the fuck am I listening yeah, to? Yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. Cause it gotta I gotta it gotta inspire me to to do something with my life. You right. know what I mean? I feel like right. life is too short. We right. have like a small window. Right. Right. And right. that's why I respect Snoop. Like, cause for a minute I'm like, damn, what is Snoop doing? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you mean like the Snoop Lion era? Yeah, and like in a couple of other ones, I'm like, man, come on, Snoop. Right. Come on, dog. Right, like, right, right, right. You right, know what I mean? Right. And then, <laughs> like now, like this last shit was hard. Oh, like this shit is easy. super yeah, hard. And that's hard. the Snoop yeah. that I'm looking for. Right. I even like, I got that, the, the Kool-Aid Man album. And I'm like, oh, Super Crip and all that. Was oh, like, yeah, oh, that was hard. Like, that was hard. hard. That was hard. And now he, he came yeah. back to what he was doing. Right. And like, I like that. Like, move me. Like, right. like. A, a little kid may not get one blood, one cuz, but when they get to be yeah. 18, 19, they 20, they go get it. When they experience like, they gonna get it. Because you be like, damn, they man, sometimes, yeah. you know, sometimes you pull up somewhere and you, you Snoop. Right. Snoop, you, uh, you were talking, you were talking about Snoop, and you were saying that you like how he came back to yeah. his essence. I like the this Snoop. I like the Kool Aid man. The Never Left was cool. But I thought those were more older songs. It seemed like those were some old songs he right, put in. Right. And I don't necessarily like the political, like, go out the Trump shit. Right, right, like, right, right. I get it. Like, I respect, I respect YG and all that for how they right, did it. Right, but right. I mean, like, you know, like, I don't think everybody should do it. Like, YG and Nipsey, they made that stand, right, and that was hard. Right. I, I think if we keep doing it, it's like, man, you Overkill. can't. Yeah, you can't. And I don't. I would never want to take shine from a political statement that one of the homies made. You know what got I'm you, saying? Got you. So... You know, I wouldn't do it like that, but like this last, like this last one, I'm so proud of Snoop. Like for real, when I heard right, that right, shit, right, right. Like bro, a lot of people are. A lot of people I'm are. I'm so proud of, of Snoop because Snoop, are, of Cause Snoop don't understand. Like the the OGs in the game, they don't understand. Like Snoop, you know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, like niggas like Snoop, Q, you know what I'm saying? Mac Ten, my nigga, corrupt. That's my OG. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. I ride for corrupt. Okay, so, corrupt okay. call me right now to put in work, and I will do it. <laughs> Lord. I love Corrupt. Okay, <laughs> okay my nigga. Corrupt, that's my nigga. Yeah, that's my nigga. Corrupt. Corrupt. You know what I mean? And it's like, I feel like, like I love them so much that they let us down. Okay. In the most respectful way of me saying it. Okay. I feel as if they get so caught up in their lifestyle and then when niggas start doing different shit, like, the you know like the the radio songs start popping and certain shit and then mm -hmm. niggas start basing in more business sense instead right. of off what they was doing off their heart right and then they took a they step they took away yeah. like they stepped back yeah. and they left they left niggas like us yeah, buddy. so yeah, you I left heard. us with I nothing heard. and then after that it started like if you if you take away that real shit. Even real niggas gonna start listening to, to bullshit. To fuck shit. Like, yeah, yeah. straight up, straight shit. up, straight up. Like, Cause they in the clubs listening yeah. to fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be programmed. Yeah. Me and Lonzo from the World Class Breaking Group was just talking about this. You hear a song a hundred so times mm -hmm. and, and you didn't like it, now it's 101 times. Uh, you know what? This shit kinda cool. And you singing along. You singing shit along. you don't even like. <laughs> Man, I can't stand that shit. I hate that shit. Yep, yep. I yep, hate yep, that shit. Yep, you know yep, what I mean? Yep, yep. And I feel like. Like, you know, and I'm going to say, not only just Snoop and all the rest, I'm going to say uh, 50 Cent, um, 
Eminem, like certain people like that, like uh, uh, Red Man, oh, Method Man, yeah, 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 Killer yeah. Cam, Dipset, oh, yeah. Mob Deep, Jada Kiss, and all them. Oh, all y'all yeah. niggas, man. Nas, yeah. Fat Joe. Yeah. Fat Joe's one of my favorites too. He still go hard today. And no. Fat Joe dropped. A song or two every year that is consistently one of the best songs that he year. does. He does. He, and he he's does. on there with he does. with whoever's the hot nigga of the year, and his verse is right there with him. He does. So I got nothing he but does. love for, for Fat Joe too. But I feel like y'all niggas left us. Right. Y'all left us, and then when y'all came back to the game, y'all didn't have y'all fan base right. no more. And then they started doing goofy music. Goofy shit. music shit. That shit that we didn't want to hear. So you then what? we couldn't support that. And then they couldn't get the support from the new fans, mm. so then they started watering down their fan base more. And you breaking it down right now, that, bro. That's exactly mm. what I think happened, and that's why I love Snoop so much with this. Like, it don't have to sell the most million in the world, right? But I guarantee so, you, his next shit yeah. is go go because now you got us back, right? Like, right. nigga, I'm like, oh, nigga, I'm right. Snoop <laughs> back, right? Because before it didn't matter. Right. Snoop, right. Every, I remember right. when music came out on Tuesdays, nigga. I didn't give a fuck if Snoop right. or somebody was out, I, right. nigga. Right. If I wasn't getting it, I was sending my bitch. Hey, what's right. up? You go get that Snoop shit. Go right. bring it to the set. Yes. Go get that. Bring it to me right now. Yeah. Yeah. Bring, that yeah. Yeah. bring me that. Bring me a fifth of Hennessy and shit too. The, you know what I'm saying? Snoop first album drop, right? I'm in, I'm in I'm in school. I don't know what grade I'm in. Mm -hmm. Right, nigga. I, I had my mom go wait for me at the motherfucker. You know they drop at like twelve and shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can't go to school tomorrow with that. Well, I'm without <laughs> that. I need that. I rib. need that. So I already know you want that artist that you fell in love with. Yes. You know what I'm trying to say? Because you feel like that's your family member. Yep. It's like um. Um, like how like my grandma, right? My grandma, ninety years old, right? right? And she's been watching these soap operas forever. And I'm like, damn, Granny, how old are these people? Because my Granny's ninety years old, so how old are these soap operas? You know what I mean? And she's been watching these people since before I was born. All this shit. So I'm like, like to this day, she watches her stories. Like she go watch it, and even like um. She watches like The Price is Right. So it done been through different niggas that's been older, but she yeah. watches her show. She watches Will of Fortune with Pat Sajak. This nigga, he's old, old as she old, How old is that nigga? Man. Man, he gotta be like 150, he's man. Like 500 man. years old. That nigga, he done died and came back already. Oh, 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 man. When I was a he kid, that nigga, life. that nigga, man. Yeah. Yeah. That man ran a wire. Yeah. Them yeah. motherfuckers is man. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's aliens, saying. bro. Go ahead, yeah. dog. That's what I'm saying. Tell what. Grandma's still watching them, and I'm like, that's longevity. You get what I'm saying? Like, those are people, and that's the type of shit that niggas like Snoop and all them should be able to have. And they will have if they keep doing that real shit. Like, at the end of the day, man, I'm learning the the older that a person get, it's not like dog, you turn 35 and turn into a puss no, happen. No. But what you, you know what I'm saying? But you just like, I'm not involving myself in bullshit because I got yeah. shit to lose now. I reckon yeah, I got kids, you got you, got you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's I can't the go down for this. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah. and, but we still want to feel that feeling. Like, mm -hmm. I still want to hop in my shit. I still hop in my shit and can crank my shit mm -hmm. and feel good when I hear some gangster mm -hmm. shit, when I hear some real mm -hmm. shit like that. Mm -hmm. And I can still put on right now a uh, West Side Connection gangsters make the world go around and beat around the block and let them shits wang and everybody gonna turn their head. Yeah, they look like, ah, oh, he killing it. Oh, look at that. I'm like, yeah, I'm got here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. like, and, but if they would have kept doing that music, we would still be buying it the whole, the whole time. time. The whole time. And then our kids would be stuck on that music. Same music. Because now it sound old to them. Yep. Like, I'll be playing that Cause shit. Because they used to this other yeah. stuff that They listen to niggas singing every song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I feel They can't I, sing. Fam, and I fall, I fall victim to that shit. I, ain't no, like, <laughs> I do too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no more yep, money, yep, you know what I'm saying? Yep. I, get, I got a couple you of singing songs trees, on my shit. Because it's, it's business. It's a business move. But my shit sound good. <laughs> I feel that. I can really do it like that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't really gonna do that too much on my next project. It's just like maybe one. Because I feel like now you got Snoop back, you got a couple of more people coming back. Now it's a lane for this, right? right? right. And right. I can feed the people that, that like me. Right. Like, they, these people like me, and right. you little kids, you gonna grow up and you gonna like my right. shit too. Right. 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 Because right. you're not right. gonna be listening to goofy shit. You, at this age, when you grow up, you're not gonna you listen to that same goofy right. shit. Right. Right. You're right. not right. gonna listen to that goofy shit. Right. Right. That's like, you know, um, you know, like no. I used to listen to uh, when I was little. Well, I used to listen to fucking another bad creation and shit like that. Aisha and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause my big sisters and big brothers used to listen to that, and I was a little shorty. Like, oh yeah, doing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Do you think I would bump that today? No, no. Now if them niggas.
niggas had a show somewhere for old time's sake, I might pull up and watch it. But I'm not gonna be like riding through smash and knocking at Aisha. You know, you know what I'm saying? I refuse. But I can still, I can still knock doggy style right now. Right. Yep. I can still knock pistol, get pistol grip pump on my lap at all times, right now. Man. I still knock caution. Huh? Oh, caution. Oh, man. Oh, come on, And bro. a lot of niggas slept on caution. Caution was hard. I'm hard. like, them shorties, they was like two years older than me at that time. And I'm like, see, y'all talking about when I'm on. You doing what I'm doing. We here. You know what I'm saying? I know all about OG's tripping. I know all about that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga coming out, he think he hard. He been 10 years. Like, okay, we finna beat your ass. Cause the BG's out here now. We running this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like. Like that, you that West Coast, bro. Oh, you man. West Coast, yeah. bro. Man, I grew up listening to KD. You know oh, what I'm saying? The smooth, oh, the smooth shit. Come on, oh, come man. on man. All that shit. Nah, I like yeah, it. Man. You know what I'm saying? He say, I appreciate your soup coolers on this big black one shot automatic pea shooter. <laughs> I was always in there like, I like that shit that's like, that make me think. You right, know what I'm saying? Like, right. it ain't got to necessarily make me get a thesaurus or a dictionary. Right, but, right, right. Like, anybody can say, oh, I'm finna go smoke and then I'm gonna go kill him. But can you say it in a way that's like, Smooth, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, like, this dude is, I'm scared of this dude. Yeah, right, like, right, like right. you a thinking man. You right, know what I mean? Because right, right. a brute person, that's cool. That's only that's that gonna go so far. Yeah, and you can only intimidate the people that they work with that. Right. But mm -hmm. you notice the biggest niggas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a it's little skinny niggas like us all behind them, them that's mm -hmm. telling them what to do all the time. Oh, all all the, the time. It's the niggas that they that mm -hmm. they looking up to be niggas that's like us. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly, yeah. they listen. They look to niggas that's smart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They respect that. They, they respect that like uh, a, a, a motherfucker that can't handle himself respect muscle. Right, exactly. Right. You know? That's the way it goes. Respect it like Or like a broke nigga respect yeah. money. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We're back, but we gonna stay on Kearney Biz. Yeah. We gonna stay. <laughs> we gonna stay on Kearney Biz. Yeah, we we're talking off camera crazy. about stuff y'all cannot hear. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? It can speak easy here, but uh, I'm talking about a couple Kearney men. We were talking about. Takashi snitching. Do you think it's any comeback for this man? For <laughs> to me or to the, or to the public? <laughs> to the for, public. Okay, for to the, the public. public. Yeah. I mean, even the public's on him right now. Yeah, I'm saying, but I think, I think this fickle, this this audience is fickle today. Okay. And once again, <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on the OGs walking away because it gave these niggas a chance the before. Mm -hmm. Of our generation. We knew if somebody, if a rapper was snitching, that was it. Rap. You're not a rapper anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but nowadays, like, you can be the police. Yeah. You can be anything. Yeah. And it's yeah. all good. It's all good. And that's not even like a jab at, at homie. Right. You know what I mean? Because right. I like Rick Ross music. Right. 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 I right. fuck with Ross music. Right. And whatever job a nigga has, you can If right. you wasn't locking niggas up. Exactly. Like, I couldn't, I have right. felonies. You know, as soon as I turned 18, so there was no, I could never. <laughs> you never was get, it. you couldn't get a job like that. Because I would have yeah. took the paycheck. Yeah, but if I, I had kids as, you know, as a teenager, so if I would have took that paycheck, right, 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 yeah. right, right. But, right. you know. I mean, he's snitching on people. He's snitching on all the rappers. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, that's why I'm glad I never met him. <laughs> Me too. Like, man. <laughs> He's on other rappers yeah. now. I'm like, bro, like, this is crazy, bro. Like, yeah. like, it is a different era. But I know you saw that coming. Yeah, I knew. I know you saw that. I don't know how his niggas didn't He's see that. Everything. I never, like, I that's when my homeboy was trying to tell me when, because I really, I didn't take notice of it. Because when he had, what was that song, The Gummo? Gummo. And he was like, I didn't want to take his life. But nigga, fuck it. I was like, no, that shit hard. Right, right. And then when I saw the video, I was like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all let this nigga talk. Like, oh man, like when I saw that, I was like, okay, this is crazy. No. And it wasn't even like the hell. It was just like, you could look at somebody yeah, and see, like, fam, like, you ain't. Dude, you don't, you ain't you don't mean a word of what you, you say. Can't, you bro. can't make it out here. No, you know what I mean? Like, but <laughs> you you know, he had a good image and all that. Right. And that, that one song, I thought, okay, that's a cool song. Right. I like that song. That right. song was hard. I wasn't like a super fan. Like, my little kids was, they was really liking right, it. Right, right. But. How do they feel now with the whole thing? Nah, they just be on. like, man. <laughs> like, they can't believe it. They thought he was a stand-up guy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I was telling them, like, like, the police, they go throw a twist on you, right? Like, the way I look at it from what, at least from what I've been hearing, because I ain't been following it, because 
Shit, niggas snitching. I ain't trying to. I never <laughs> snitched on before. I just, I don't like, even I'm deal with that shit. But I just feel like they, you know, whatever happened with the the one niggas that was setting them up and robbing them all that, yeah, that, yeah. that shit was crazy. Yeah, I saw that too. So that would put any nigga ain't gonna feel like I want to stand solid and protect you for that shit like right, that. Right. But it was just like, it seemed to me like maybe the, the nigga shoddy, maybe he... May have had that nigga back a little bit. Okay. He's shooting for you for and all this shit. Real you're talk. Saying. Real talk. Like, my nigga, every Real time talk. you got a problem, like I've been that nigga where you call somebody got a problem, anytime you got a problem, I'm handling mm -hmm. it for you. So if you turn around and say something on me, I would feel like, man, you gotta go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta go. <laughs> like, 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 this little mama. Yeah, that would, I would have a problem with that. <laughs> and you know, the police go twist it up. They'll tell you, oh, yeah, this nigga said this about all you, right. dude. Just, to, oh, he fucked your bitch. This is, that, that, he may have never even done he that. He may shit. never even done it. And then the money talking about, you know, dog, he took, what is it, 20, 25%? The management fee. So what the? What are you supposed to take? That's yeah, right. I don't. He didn't even get over on right. it. No, so, that's that's normal. And what nigga from a set don't kick in money to the to, to, the, the, to, the, to the big homies yeah. that put your non motherfucking ass yeah. on? <laughs> don't come through and look out for the set. <laughs> come through and put some, put some heat. Come through with a couple of pounds of weed or something. Yep. Like, nigga, yep. who ain't yep. doing yep. it? Ain't doing Everybody. Even the reptiles do that. Every nigga like him got a really pack. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Every reputable person. Yeah. You do, and it's not even that you have to. It's niggas your set. Yeah. I'm still around here. Yeah. I want my homies to come. Nigga, look, y'all straight. We straight. We, we good. Straight. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's that's what it is. You right. would do the same if you was doing it in drug money. If you wasn't a rapper, if you was just, you made a half million dollars in drug money, your whole set would be popping. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're like, that's the way it's going. Exactly. So, yeah. I feel like, dude, you know, your homies beat you up and did all that. I understand right. why he's making that move. Mm -hmm. Like, I get why he's doing it. But, but you know, Cash, like, that's still not acceptable. Yeah, he can't accept it. I'm saying I understand why he's doing it, right. but I don't understand that he's doing it. Right. Like, I understand right. him right. thinking, right. like, right. Right. fuck them. His mind getting blue. twisted. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I, at the end of the day, you as a man, you have to be like, nigga, no. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror like, today, no. bro. Like, come like, on. I can't do it. I can't do that. Like, I can't send, I can't put this on my kids. Mm. You can't put that on your kids. Put that karma on me. Get you can't put that on your kids. No, bro. And at some point, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you gotta, like, think about it. One nigga took five, one nigga in there took 15. Dude could have took less than that. He probably could have got you three to five. You would have been out in like three, bro. You know what I'm saying? We already Take know. Your it shit started and come like home. 10, probably right. came down to yeah. five, you out in three, right. homie. Take your shit and Take come your home. shit and go, homie. It's, yeah. it's fucked up, I get it. Don't nobody want to go, but you a kid, mm -hmm. right? So when you, <laughs> three years, you gonna be young as fuck still. Come exactly. out, you good. What's the you problem? good. You, you gonna come out with full life. You got mm -hmm. full life, but now your life is fucked. Man. Sticking on current events, um, we live in a crazy era, Cash. You come yeah. from the era with spitters, yeah. Eminem, yeah. Obi Trice. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 all of them. We, we lie with the one and only Cashes. Yes, yeah, sir. You know. yeah. And right now we're in an era where um, a lot of stuff is accepted that wasn't accepted. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to just segue that to what's your feelings of the whole rappers coming out, dude? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? The Lil Nas X's and shit like that. What's, what's going on? What's um, man. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. You know I'm going to hit you with that. <laughs> what's going on in our game, man? I don't even know if homie is real. Is he, is you think he's he fake game? I had this conversation with yeah, him and somebody else. I don't else. think he's serious with that shit. Okay, okay. Like, it's, a, it's a money move. Yeah, I it's just think like, move. maybe he might be like a little soft, a little sweet. <laughs> right, stuff, right, but right. I don't think... Cause he don't, I think like, you know, I don't, I don't think it's he's all the way with it. I think it's, it's definitely a money move. Like, um, you know, like, shit, my, my, my folks was just telling me about some Tyler the Creator video. It's like, man, he was crying yeah. to some dude and yeah. I'm like, whoa, yeah, like that's some he, shit. He walked the line. He'll, like, he yeah. never came out, but he'll make songs like oh, man, insinuating yeah, shit. Like, shit. If you insinuate, like if you insinuate you a killer, I'm thinking you a killer. If you insinuating that. <laughs> I'm believing. I'm gonna believe. You know I'm gonna believe you. I'm gonna believe and you. Yeah. I just think we must just live in a crazy time. Yeah, it just be it must be a comfortable world. I just know you couldn't do shit like that before. You could. But I'm like, I'm glad niggas ain't trying to beat them up and do all that. That's shit. That's cool. Cause that shit is That's crazy. Right. You That's shouldn't right. be. You shouldn't no, harm people no. for never. however they feel. Never. Never. You know what I'm saying? Never. But I don't never. think. Never. I don't necessarily think. Um, I don't think it's brave. Like when people right. like, oh, this person say, oh, it's brave. I don't think that's necessarily. Um, they act like it is brave right? because, like at the, like I think it was brave. 
Evan Till was brave. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, but little shorty right, from Scar right, being a black right. kid walking around in front, front of those white right, people that was lynched. Right, right. Shit like that is brave. Right. Like, um, you much. know, yeah. walking up into somebody else's neighborhood to go and you you know, <laughs> even though you ain't no no, you ain't trying to do something, you right. may your your girl may live there, whatever, right, and you still right. going in there, your right. your your baby mama and your kids in there, you that's going brave. in there. That's brave because you putting your life on the line. Mm -hmm. Like who you fuck? That's that's your that's business. That's not brave. That's yeah. not brave. That's your that's yeah. your personal business. They act like, like it's a triumph. Like, what if I came out and said, "I like bitches. Like, have a yeah. parade for me." Yeah. Like, you know what it, I'm it, it's that petty. Yeah. It, it, right. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's gone overboard. It's yeah, become think, propaganda. Yeah, I think I think I have nothing against a gay person, but this is think. propaganda. Yeah, and I, I I know I had gay family members. Right. I get um, but I don't even call them that. Like, that's like saying like. Oh, I got a black friend or something. Right, right, like, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Like, yeah, I, I don't even, because I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, truth be told, as long as you ain't doing no shit in front of me, exactly. I can really it, care less. It should right. it should be like that. But it, the narrative now is like, if, if if you come out, now you're brave and, and, and they're all with you now. Yeah, and it's like you, okay, it's like, okay, I, I don't want to be in a room and see two straight people just, Fucking. Right, right. Like, that's right. not my style. Right. Like, as in, that ain't me. Like, I don't want to see, oh, you niggas just tonguing up. All that. Like, <laughs> like, that's oh, cool. PDA. Yeah, like, Get that's the room. Yeah, like, say, take that shit somewhere else. So, yeah. I don't, I don't want to see it the other way. Right, 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 right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think, like, I'm accepting to everything. Like, right. you could be whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. But I had, like, I got sons. Right. So, right. I feel I feel conflicted. I feel conflicted as what I can tell them. Right. Like I tell them accept everybody. Right. Doesn't matter who they are. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not I'm not telling my sons like, hey, if you like boys, it's okay. Right, right. right. Like I'm not saying it because I'm not right, right, I'm not right, putting right. it in their head that right, it's okay. Right, right, right. Because right. me personally, for me and for my children. I don't think you that that's what they go do. Way, right, you know what I mean? Right, right. I don't think that. Hey, I don't like that's not the way I'm trying to you. push them in their way. Oh, you gonna, uh, I'm gonna teach my kids. Right. Yeah. So like you know like people are like oh if your kid wanna wear a dress or whatever like no 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 if that's my son no we're not doing that no no not in our household yeah they yeah. like they I think we're merging genders too much I think they're trying to make us One they're trying gender. to make us either. Neutral or yeah. make us all like yeah. something like yeah. that because yeah. it's a reason it's a man and it's a woman. Yes, mm -hmm. boys and girls. It's a difference. Right. Like right. it's supposed to be a difference. Right. Like, um, that's why it's always like a shock if um you know a guy and he's like a can cook and clean and he's like wait you're like what the it's fuck like, damn, this yeah but I'm not like oh nigga you a bitch I'm right, not right. I'm just like damn yeah, man, you, you can cook. That's just what I like to do. Right, right. Like that frees my mind. You right. know what I mean? I like to do certain shit like that. And the same way like a woman slam dunking. Right. I'm like, Can't whoa shit. Like, yeah, like, oh, like, oh my god. Shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not that that that's a phenomenon. Mm -hmm. That's not normal. Mm -hmm. So it's like wow, like like I have to give you extra credit extra. for some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the only difference is because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, uh like you said, Candace Parker, Lisa Leslie can go dunk. And I'd be like, she could do this. And I'd be like, oh shit. And LeBron could go do the same dunk. Right. And I'd be like, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron should have took off. LeBron losing the step. LeBron losing the step. You get what I'm saying? Because I expect more out of you right. because you can do this. <laughs> Given she got a TV dinner. I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> I know you can do it better. Right. But if I slide by Pop's crib and this nigga, like, oh, we go order some Chinese food. I'm like, my nigga. Because I know you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's supposed to be, I feel like it's better, yeah. we can respect, I respect, yeah. like, I think, I like for women to be able to take care of themselves and do for themselves. But if a nigga was trying to rape you or, or hurt you, and you were screaming, don't you want me to help you? Yeah. Right. If I don't even know Absolutely. you, if right. I hear a woman screaming, I'm finna me. come see don't you. Don't you want me to be a man? Exactly. Right. And, 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 yeah. and, 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 or do you want me to turn my head and be like, oh, well, shit. Because if, if I seen two niggas, and if a nigga is getting beat up and raped, I'm like, I ain't getting yeah, that shit. Like, that. Like, like, right. like, that's crazy. <laughs> I ain't even know niggas doing that out here. I'm gonna go far away from all this shit. Because y'all tripping out here. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a woman or a child, or something, you're, you, yes, you're, you're, 
as a man, my, you know, I don't care who, if you anywhere, in a man, and you, or as a woman too, anywhere, you hear babies or cry or whatever, yeah. even if you don't have a baby, you look at me, what's going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to see, nigga, who, because yeah. that might not be that baby's dad. Mm -hmm. right. That might be, this nigga might be snatching mm -hmm. that kid, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I want to know what's up, yeah. you know, so, yeah. and I think we were made to be, like, I feel like I'm meant to provide. Right. I'm meant oh, to, right. I got to gain kids because I'm supposed to. I right. take care of mine. This is what I do. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't know what to do without my family. Right. I wouldn't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't imagine nobody being able to handle my load in life and being able to take care of as many people as I take care of. Gotcha. So I feel like I should be respected as a, a man for doing my job. No, I shouldn't deserve cookies and extra right. shit, right. but nigga, my respect. Right. Like when you see me, you should respect me as a man, not just as an artist. Respect me like, oh, this nigga take care of his shit at the crib. Right. He take, right. he, he, he right. solid with his homies. Right. He do what he's supposed right. to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't put up places with 20, 30 niggas on myself mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, that respect. In the same way as a woman. You, I've learned so many things about you and stuff today, right? I'm like, wow, this man, I have, the, I have the utmost respect. I have the utmost respect for you. You know what I'm saying? I have the utmost respect. You know what I'm saying? But if you like, I'm cooking, you, I think we gonna come through and cook. I'm be like, shit, hell yeah, I bet she gonna have some good ass food. Man. I ain't gonna go to your spot, we gonna go over to her spot. You know what I'm saying? You come with me. Yeah. I just think that, you know, we're supposed to be like that and show that respect to each other. I think combined is what makes us, what makes us as a race, as a, hum, as a, as a human race, makes us survive. We need men that are men and we need women that are real women. Because a woman can see some shit that I can't see. And I can see some shit that a woman can I can be like, hey, don't turn your back. When you sit around these places, hey, watch, hey, watch it when you get out the car. Right. Watch these niggas, you know what I'm right. saying? I watch them. And she may not see that. Right. But then... And she gets you one new and she see that female. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or she might right. see one of these niggas that's supposedly mm -hmm. my homeboys is not. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, this is a homie. Y'all be doing she like... At this nigga, he's like, don't trust that nigga. I've been there. He, he jealous of you. He envious. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, nah, nah. And then some shit happened. I'm like, wow, you were right. Mm -hmm. Like you were right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Reach, bro. That's how they get. Reach. Yeah. So yeah. we need that. But if I can't respect you enough to be a woman, mm -hmm. like I have to be secure enough with a female that she's she's strong enough as a woman where she can tell me something. Mm -hmm. Like I'm secure with that. Like mm -hmm. nigga, you a woman, but if you coming to me like, oh nigga, what the fuck? I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna treat you like. <laughs> I'm gonna treat you. Like, <laughs> you treat, if you come to me like a nigga, I'm gonna treat you like a nigga. Not right. saying I'm put my hands on you. Right, if you right, talking right, to me right, crazy, right. right. I'm gonna talk back to you, Craig. I'm not gonna be like, oh, yes, yes, it's cool. <laughs> like, no. You try to front me, I'm front of the homies, I'm front of the front, you're gonna treat you. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, I'm gonna make sure right. you know, like, come on, man, you can't right, do that. Right. But if you're not doing that to me, I'm gonna go out of my way and be super respectful. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, because it's a woman, like, I'll be like, yo, man, I'll be, you know, like, if it's a certain shit com conversations I wouldn't have around a woman, I would have around dudes. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But if I'm around a dude, I would have. Uh, any type of conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't know. You have no idea <laughs> yeah. how men talk when y'all yeah. not around. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. So it's like, true. I would. It's certain things I show. Respect. Women too. I know y'all talk. Yeah, and I'm gonna say a whole lot of shit in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got a comedy scene. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. You know, and the same thing with like you know. Like you saying, well, like gay people, like I don't think it should be a big deal. Like exactly. gay, straight, whatever. It shouldn't be a big I don't think. Parade. I don't think we need special bathrooms. I don't think we need any of that. Just like nigga, if you gay and you going to the bathroom, it doesn't Do matter. You're dog. Yeah, you yeah. going to the bathroom. Yeah. You're not trying to fuck me in the bathroom. <laughs> so like, what are we? Why are we yeah. bringing this up? And I don't get like straight guys. Like my like, why the fuck are you so like? Like, why do you think every gay person want to fuck? Right, you? Like, that right, shit is weird. Right, right. That's like dudes yeah. that think every girl want to fuck. Just because a girl said hi, oh, here, change is $5.36. And, you like, and you're like, oh, this bitch want to fuck me. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. nigga, she gave you your change. Right. Nigga, she ain't right. what are you talking right. about? But let, exactly. let her not give him that, uh, uh, be nice to him. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You already know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't judge people like that. Like, dog, it's not, man, you know what I mean, gay. Do you know how many gay people I've sold weed to them before when I was coming like that? And they spend a gang of money. They buy crack too. Yeah, and buy everything, ecstasy, all of them shits. They go crazy. They purchase. And they got, like, what the fuck? Like, Straight they not up. fucking with you. They don't Straight even care. Up. You know what I'm saying? They not even looking at you like that. They're like, nigga, you the dope man. What's yep, up? Yo, yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? Break them down, though. I mean, this, it's, this yeah. is real life. This is real. This is real. This is real. If you haven't... 
<laughs> encounter being around different races or people with different sexual orientations or different religious beliefs, then you haven't been living. You haven't experienced right. you're, life. You're sheltered. You're in a box. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, sheltered. Yeah, if yeah. you've lived in any real community, especially any urban community, you've seen the, it. We know the gay dudes before they tell before us. Before they tell right, us. Yep. Right. We already yep. know. Yep. That's why when somebody come on, I'm like, nigga, <laughs> we've been known. What did you right, right. And what else is new? Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Not a big deal. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But they make it a big deal. So, yeah. Let's get back to some of this music stuff. Yeah. Cassius, man, okay. Bogus, bo bogus brand. Bogus. Is that is that still the label? Always. Okay. Always. You know what I'm saying? You said something's Always. coming out in December. Yeah. What can we look forward to with this? Uh, County Hound 5 is coming out in December. County Hound. Uh, let's bring on the, let's break it down. Yeah, so that's break what it down. C -C -C -H 4 <laughs> stands for County Hound 4, because County Hound was uh, the EP for Shady. Okay. So that was just talking about, like I said, going from Cook County you know what I'm saying? Then come to LA County, then Southern and Orange County. Mm. So it's just about I, County I've Island. been all I around did. these counties. I you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I never well in Chicago. I stayed in one place, just off staying like so everybody. We always been there, but like anywhere else I've been to, I've never just stayed in this one city. I've stayed all around LA County, all around Orange mm. County. You get what I'm saying? So it's like that's what I'm saying. I know people in all these cities and all these different neighborhoods. Mm. So. I'm just a representative of them. Uh -huh. oh, like Lord. you can put, you can put me, you can drop me in the middle of Chicago. You gonna and find your way. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Like literally, I'm gonna be just the same as everybody else. And my right. speech, my nice. my mentality. But you can drop me in the middle of Compton. You can drop me in Watts. You can drop yeah. me somewhere, and I'm the same, same. way with them. Right. You can drop me in the middle of Anaheim and say that I'm the same right. way. And then you yeah. can drop me in Newport Beach or Malibu, <laughs> yeah. and I'm the same as them. Because I've that had, part. I've had I nothing, and then I've had a lot. You know what I mean? So now I just be like, shit. I ain't never going back to having nothing yeah. no more. <laughs> and now I got things as good. Exactly. I'm just focused, so I know how to maneuver in all areas. And that's mm -hmm. right. I think everybody should be well-rounded. I think artists that are scared of their community is, that's like the biggest travesty in the world. Mm -hmm. Like people that's scared to come kicking mm -hmm. with their folks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, come on, bro, you scared to go to, it was a, I ain't gonna say no names, but I know it's an artist. And I'm like, let's go over here. And he's like, what? Oh man, I, we, I don't know, know what's going over there. And I'm like, dog, it's the, it's the Louisiana fried chicken spot. You not going over there? <laughs> Like, oh man, y'all see I'm like, oh dog, you forget that you grew up amongst us. Oh, you wow. forget where you were raised at. When I see stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. you know, when wow. I see that, I'll be like, dude, but you are rapping, you're rapping so hard on your mm -hmm. records. Like, right, right. that's mind blowing. And you scared yeah. to go somewhere like go that's why where people you rapping respect about? me. Mm -hmm. You just fuck around and be at some little some little hood function, I'll be sitting there. Right. Like literally. Right. It'd be literally little parties and shit. I might right. be out with somebody and niggas be turning on my cash I can't believe. It. <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm like, man, what's up? We hitting the weed. Like, what's up? <laughs> what's you on the same thing? You, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and it's like, nigga, I'm cool and I'm chilling. And right. it's like, man, you just vibing, you ain't in here like trying to cause extra attention right. like that. I just like kicking it amongst my folks. I like right. kicking it amongst my people. Right. And if you say something's popping, I'm with you, I'm like, let's go. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we don't have to be um, afraid of our own. And that's another thing I liked about Nip so much, yeah. man, because he, he loved his own. Yeah. And he invested in his own. Yeah, everywhere. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he like, man, they, they go, either way it go, if somebody go do something to you, they go do something exactly. to you. No matter, and the worst thing you could do, and that's something that I, I I learned from the Bible, say, say a nigga, you don't say a nigga, say a man, but I just talk how I talk, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's a nigga that, uh, that tries to like save his life is going to lose it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So pretty much a man that's trying to, that's doing everything to hide his life or save his life is going to mm -hmm. ultimately lose it. Mm -hmm. So that lets you know, like, no matter what you do, yeah. you go, you go, go one day, right? Move, right? So you might as well just be solid. Right. That's yeah. my whole shit. It's just being solid. My whole foundation is I just want to be solid. I go places. I'm solid. Right. I'm me. You know what I mean? I don't do nothing extra. I'm not. I'm not the extra super. Let's do the extra tough shit. I'm cool. You know what I right. mean? I ain't the extra. Um, let's go steal shit. I ain't. Right. I don't fuck with thieving. You know what I mean? Right. I'm more. Of, I'm a hustler. I like going to work for my. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I can't work. get with people that's like that. <laughs> I kick it with niggas as hustlers, whether you got a job or you in the streets hustling. I kick it with people that want to do something right. to make something. Right. Because I believe they understand the value of life. Right. You and you've never saying? been extra out on the, on the records. Like, you know, like you mm -hmm. said, put yourself like, hey, I'm, I'm super nigga. Like, you was always mm -hmm. humble, mm -hmm. but hard. 
Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like yeah. in solid and, and verses and bars and stories Bro, and street that. shit. But oh, you never was like, I'm that now. I'm super nigga number one type nah. shit. You know what I'm Cause I guess always somebody. Is always. The, I put always. it to you like this: the niggas that I knew that was the hardest niggas, like the people that I like. I know niggas that didn't kill like, kill like. 30 something like I know a nigga that is at least 30 some people that I know of for real. I swear to God that he's killed and he got killed. Right. Do you understand? I right. thought he was the hardest person in the world. That was right. my idol. Right. And he got killed. Right. By his own people, his own friends wow. telling him like, he got killed. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, if if he, Superman can get killed, right. like the hardest nigga in the world can get killed. Anybody can get killed. Right. So I don't even want that type. Right. Because he was going around like everybody knew this nigga killed anybody. He would do. And I'm like, That's nigga, I track. don't want that. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't even want that. And I was getting to that in real life for a minute. Right. And when I started noticing, right. I'm like, shit. <laughs> I don't want that. Because yeah, right, right. I know what come next. Right, right. It's right. either the police or that. Or somebody go be. What happens if they get so, <laughs> about your reputation, they get so scared of you. Mm, they don't care. Yeah. Like, yeah. just because you get upset, they mm. a nigga just, oh, I'm, I'm going to blank out and mm -hmm. shoot you like my nigga. I wasn't even finna hurt you. Right. I'm just checking you for something. And right. you got so scared of what you what I've done to other people that you go take my life. Right. So I don't wanna be in that position. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't even fuck with people like that. That, that right. if you ain't if you ain't got positive energy, I just don't even surround Same. myself with people. Right. I can Same. walk in the room and I can feel the energy. And if energy isn't right, where before I would have made sure I stayed there and turned up so niggas know who I was. Like right. nigga, I, I felt like I felt like he was shying away from something. Oh. And I didn't want I didn't want that. I wanted right. to be like nigga. Fuck like a that. challenge. Yeah. And now it's like nigga, I feel it take more of my cheese mo and more nuts and more courage to recognize I don't even want to be in this bullshit. You know, it is a waste of time. Cause it's not about you doing something to me. I don't wanna hurt y'all. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I got like when I when I was in the parking lot, when I was like, oh man, we're here with right. I was calling my kids right. to do prayers. We do prayers at eight o'clock. Oh, I was dang. calling my kids and speaking to do the prayers. You hear what I'm saying? Dope. When I get home, I want to get back to my motherfucking kids. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. They gonna be sleep when I get home. Right, right. But I want to get back home and be there. Yeah. When they wake up in the morning, I make them breakfast. I take them to school. I kick with my little 18 month old daughter during the daytime oh. and write raps during the daytime. I pick my kids up from school. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, that's what that's my job. I'm a full time parent. That's what I do. Dope you know what I'm saying? I go to the studio. I do shows. I do features. I do. I go and check my other investments because I have like, you know, I'm, I'm investing in other things that make money. You right. know what I mean? Right. That yeah. I'm a silent partner and that it's good because I don't want, um, I don't want anything that's to deal with music that sometimes there's been things that someone don't like Eminem or didn't like something that 50 Cent did and, and it negatively affected me business. where it's not even music business that I'm doing. It may be, oh, I'm investing into this this jewelry thing. I'm investing into this person trying to get this company started right. mm -hmm. and they're like, oh man, well, this bridge was burned from me. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know all this shit. So I try and keep myself, because people don't want to be affiliated with things that they think bring violence. Right. Yeah. So if you cool with it, if I can use who I am and who I who I know and the people I'm affiliated with for my advantage, right. and it won't make me look bad or like make them look bad, right. then I'll do it. Right. I wouldn't want to do anything to make Eminem or somebody look like a clown right. either. Yeah. Right. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Because right. yeah. they bestowed trust and, and put in yeah, yeah, put yeah, faith and yeah. confidence yeah. in me yeah. yes yeah. and yeah. still giving me stamina still breaking up and still like i'm still like it's not like that i'm not affiliated with shade it's not it's right. i'm just not as a as a uh uh doing out it, it, it's definitely too, not like yeah. that you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. so i don't never want to do anything to disrespect because you that, always rep yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Like, and i don't ever want to do anything to disrespect right. that legacy i helped build that legacy right. you know what yeah. i mean so um, I just do things in a responsible way. Like as a kid, I always thought certain things like this, like, I don't want to be a bitch, right? Mm -hmm. Not because of what the next man said. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, they gonna be clowning. Mm -hmm. I don't go fuck with nobody. I was always taught like, who gives a fuck what they think? Right. They put their pants on one leg at a time like you. Mm -hmm. The same way somebody can whoop your ass, you can whoop that same person's yeah. ass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the way I look at it is, um, I was saying like, I didn't want to be a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I thought like, man, if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a fake ass nigga, if I do some shit that ain't solid, uh -huh. you know what I mean, some old fraudy type weak shit, mm -hmm. then that's gonna fall back on my babies. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I look like, like not that someone's gonna do something to them, but that's gonna be in them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like if you, if I run from you, then one day that means mm -hmm. my son gonna run from a nigga. Mm -hmm. I can't let that happen. Mm -hmm. 
Like I can't I can't let that happen. Mm, and I've always looked at life like that. Like man, this is not just for me. It's for the people that I'm gonna make. You know what I'm saying? So I can't I can't do that. Like my word means everything. Like I'm solid in everything I do. You know what I mean? And I do my best to keep my word for everything I do. And I ain't gonna let no nigga trick me into saying yes. Like. Like, if I ain't got it, like, and you ain't gonna make me feel bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They will hold the tattoo that they Like, my nigga, I'm not a millionaire. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But you know what I ain't? It's broke. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like, right, right. right. Sure. <laughs> niggas see me like, oh, this nigga doing well. He right. got a nice tree doing right, this. Right. But yeah, but nigga, don't let this shit fool you. This is a constant hustle. It's, yeah. it's a work. I, right. I take my ass and get up. I don't have a, a, a nine to five job, but I have several investments. I'm in the studio. Mm -hmm. I have my own label. I have mm -hmm. like my own business. This shit that I do that you I taking have care of your kids yeah. is yeah. enough. You feel right, me? Bro, right. you doing right. bro. Yeah, like they I feel like they take care of me, man. Like they keep me my my kids, like my my family, they keep me um grounded. Um, nah, they make me dream bigger. They oh, keep me motivated and yeah, motivated. They they make me inspired. They they like, you know, like if my goal was was here, then they just took it way more. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So I focus and they know that all the money that I get, I spend on them. I stash for them. I'm doing all this shit for y'all. So, you know, cause I still live like nigga. Like, we can't talk like that. Like nigga, I live like like nigga might take me out tomorrow. Like I don't know that. I could be cool. I could go to the grocery store, nigga shooting each other in Costco and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. But I'm that's why with the music, I wanna make sure the music I I live it, it I leave is lasting because that's my life plus 76 years so my mm -hmm. baby's gonna be able to eat off that yeah. mm -hmm. even when i'm gone mm -hmm. these investments if i'm making the right investments they gonna be able to eat off that mm -hmm. even when i'm gone mm -hmm. having life insurance is important mm -hmm. nigga bury yourself mm -hmm. you take care of yourself and leave your people a little bit from that shit. it's certain right, things bro. that we got to think about especially niggas is if you a gangster mm -hmm. or if you've done gangster shit if you from any any type of urban area, mm -hmm. life insurance is something we all got to think Man. about. Now, a lot of people don't think about that. Because it's like, oh, we don't want to think about that we can die. That we this walk around like super, like we yeah. Superman. Or you ain't lying, yeah. bro. You ain't and lying, And that's some bro. shit I want to be able to have peace with. Like, maybe I, if, if I don't have 10 million to leave for my mm -hmm. kids, like, nigga, y'all will be straight. Be straight. Yeah, I can bury myself. And y'all will be straight and everybody, straight. and by the time y'all get older, this will be the doubled up and made this and this, mm -hmm. and y'all will be have a good start in life. Right. If I can't make it to where everything is straight, your start will be. The way that I, whatever it is, if I leave this earth, the life, the style that y'all is living, mm -hmm. you will still be able to live the same way. Right. You know what I mean? And that's what's no, the most no, important thing no, to me no, in life, no. is making sure that none of that ever has to happen. Like, my woman ain't got to go get no job. You know what I'm saying? Not that... If she wanted to, that would be cool. Right. But the fact that she's never had to was important for me because I felt like, my nigga, if you, if you sitting back popping out all these babies, how the fuck you gonna be working? Let right. me mm. I mean, go get this. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, I'm a, mm. I'll do legit shit. I didn't had, I didn't, I didn't had to have jobs before as a shorty. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And with any nigga had a job, no, what did you do? Everybody gets high at your job, <laughs> right? Payday's Friday. You front everybody on Monday. <laughs> Now you're picking up your check and everybody else check on Friday. Yeah, yeah. And that's how you're taking care of it. Like, I've always been a certain type of way. Because when I got out of jail, you know, you got you to have a job, you're always going back to jail. Right. You, bad. you yeah, ain't got right. no choice. Right, right. So I did that. You know what I mean? And then... Uh, how long did you... We were you in jail? Um, nah, I did, I did a couple of little six months. Okay, a couple, okay, little, yeah, couple yeah, of little yeah. bullshit. Yeah, that shit. They didn't give me too long. No, they wanted to give no. me mad time. Fuck all that, bro. Six months is enough. Get yeah. the fuck out of there, bro. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. People don't get that. The people that never been to jail. No, oh, two years. Nigga, you crazy? Nigga, two Have years. you been there for two days? Yeah, two years. Are you right, crazy? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, for real. Like, yeah. the only people that never been there talk like that. And you know it's because that shit make you get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the problem with going to jail. It's not like, oh uh, man, you think, cause I don't know, like all that bust the booty shit. I don't, I don't know where the fuck all that shit is, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, and I know niggas that have been to the pen for years and all that, and I'm like, it was, and niggas is like, what the right, fuck? Right, right, right. Like, you hear the story? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. like, nigga, you tripping. So, like, but it's more so like, you know, just to, you don't want to. You said something getting comfortable. You don't want to get, get comfortable, comfortable in chaos. So what that means mm -hmm. is this: like, like I'm an adaptive person. Like, so I can get comfortable anywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Nigga, we can be in your house. Like, not not saying your house, but you no, can take no, me to somebody's no. house and they can have fucking roaches on the wall. <laughs> I would be like, I would be like, let's stand in the middle of the room. <laughs> At the end of the day, like, I've had relatives that had roaches, and I would, go, I would go spend nights, and I know, like, nigga, you sleep with the hoodie on. Oh, yeah, off top, off top, off top. You know what I'm saying? So I know about that. You get what I'm saying? So, like, I wouldn't be like, oh, nigga, we can't stay here. I would just be like, nigga, okay, I, I get what it is. So the same thing, like, right. when you when you go to, if you go to jail, like, okay, it's a shock at first because you can't do all the shit you want. But after a while, nigga, it's a routine. Yeah. You get used to it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's the scariest part of yes. jail to me. Yes. Because you yes. start you start making re like friendships with niggas, and then you start feeling like, oh man, if if you go get out when you feel you start feeling bad, like mm -hmm. damn, I don't want to leave the home, mm -hmm. and that wow. shit is crazy. I hear niggas. That I, shit is crazy. Wow. Like it fucks up that shit. It fucked up my mind. I got I know. <laughs> collect calls with my niggas all day. My nigga, uh, King 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 got chaotic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? King got it. I met him, and he was putting me up on a whole bunch of shit, and he's from uh. Uh, what he say? He's from Five Dudes Hood. Five Dudes Hood, right? And he's like, woo, woo, woo. And me and this nigga back to back beating up motherfuckers in there, like, <laughs> like, 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 nigga, what's up? Like, like man. And he like, I fuck with you, Chicago. You ain't playing. I'm like, nigga, we out here. You know what I'm saying? And I was the youngest nigga. I was just 18, so I was Yo. like, boom. As soon as you can go in, I was right, there. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. And that shit was hard. Right. Like, but it was like, I got out and I'm just like collecting calls and he got sent to the pen, had to go through intake. And I'm like, damn, let me pass the niggas doing just, and it's like my life was like, it wasn't like the, the I, was, I got out. And for that four, four or five months, I wasn't free still. You free. Nigga, I'm making, I'm making like spreads every day. I'm making spreads, like it's cool. Like nigga, I can go to the grocery store. Oh, shit, and I'm sitting there busting me. down spreads you're and shit like, me. yeah, we getting down. Oh, you killing me. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I like the chili top. Right? I'm gonna bust these bitches down. Let me show you. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you're killing me. That shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it now, when I think about it, like, I'll never eat no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I thought that shit. It was you like, stuck on it. Yeah. You and I'm like, nigga, that's how we had Thanksgiving. Like, you know, like I spent Thanksgiving. I, my baby was born and I was in jail. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's fucked up. But Thanksgiving, yeah, 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 yeah. Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. all these motherfuckers, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You getting out around May and you like, nigga. Oh, man. Like, damn, like, that's when I know it's like, damn, I miss all the important oh, things. Yeah. Like, the fuck? And then I get out and I'm still doing it. And still like walking like this. Like, I just wanted to ask you. Uh, I know I'm, I'm going to get grilled for it if I don't ask you. How did. Shout out to Rick and Nottie. That's my nigga. Okay, okay. That's my day. I know one. you was waiting for me to shout you out, bro. Shout out Rick and Nottie. That's my nigga. <laughs> How did that situation come about? As, um, your, as your producer. Man, me and Ricky, man, this nigga. This the funniest story how we got cool. These niggas tried that. They was finna come try and push up on me and, and jump me, right? What? <laughs> and that was what? like the mistake of, like, they was finna find out something so real. And, <laughs> and Ricky was like the send off man. I got, like, we call him like Chicago, like the send off man, like the nigga that go first and run right, 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 right. He, you know, because I, I come up to uh, they love, spy they love thing, and I got on like, Red flip flops, okay. Chicago Bulls jerseys. Okay. Now I had a, a a basketball jersey. I was playing the basketball tournament in. Uh, Are you still? Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty decent. Okay. I was playing the basketball tournament in um, like Monrovia. And, Out here, huh? Yeah. Monrovia. Yeah, okay. like going through like the San Gabriel Valley yeah. and all that. So I was in them shits and was balling and um, so I, I was wearing the, the the thing when I pulled up. So then niggas just approached me, and I could see they was looking. And I always walk slow, like when I notice that I, I like if I think somebody's gonna hit me up, I start walking real slow. Right, Cause I, right. I want you to do right, it. Right, right, right. You want to be prepared for yeah. it. Yeah. So he's like, man, what's up, man? Where you, what's up? Where you from? I said, what? <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I'm from Chicago. Yeah. And he, he's like, like it took him a second, and then they clicked. They like, he's like, Chicago, Chicago. I'm like, yeah, nigga. South side, I'm from saying like, I'm GD. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then this nigga's just like, oh. Oh, and then he went back and told the other niggas, mm -hmm. and then he came back like, oh man, you cool, man. He's like, man, because I thought, you know, we thought you was with you, and I was like, and what was y'all going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was going to happen? You know what I'm saying? 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rick and Donnie, bro. Yeah, I mean, like, and, it, and he, oh, he ain't like, crazy. like, Rick and he ain't like no gang member or no shit. I'm like just that. crazy. That's a full battery, so we we really need a little bit more time. So you yeah. tell us about the Rick, you already told us about Rick and Nadi. He yeah. ran up on you. Yeah, they he ran up on me. Sweated they you. Yeah, they asked me then, you know, once he realized what I what I represented and his people was from Chicago and he was born there. He grew, he came out here when he was like two. But he was born in Chicago, so he was like, oh man, I, you know, my people, my folks from there, whoop whoop. That's a coincidence. Yeah, and I was like, for real? And then, you know, at that point, I was real, I'm like, okay, cool, I don't give a fuck. Like, in my head, I'm thinking, like, whatever. Uh -huh. And then, like, we kicked it, and he he knew this one dude, because I was like, man, what the fuck is a weed at? And he knew this one dude who had the best weed I ever had. Like, this dude named Keith. Lord. He remember his name. Oh yeah. my God. That's how you know that shit was good. Oh, he looked like he looked like 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 a like a like a skinny Seth Rogen or something. Okay. And he had the best weed I've ever had. Like wow. that was my first time hitting what's that shit like called? Gravity bone? Mm, the shit a gravity bomb. Fuck I never hit one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck me up. I was goofy as hell that day. And nobody I had never been like goofy. I was like laughing and goofy and I'm like, oh this shit's crazy. Yeah. And, and from and from laughing and bonding, that made me and Rick Nadi like, man, like that day I was like, man, he cool as hell. Like, cause it was somebody, it was somebody different. Like all my homies before was gangsters. Right, they was all doing like right, dirt. Right, right, I never right. had a homie that was like just a cool nigga, right, like just right, chilling. Right. So I was like, damn, that was different. And then we wow. went back to around like my part, my my pad right quick. I had to go put something up, and I was like, hey, let me show you something right quick. Right. And he's like, yeah. And I put out a saw it off from my closet. And he's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, that's what should that's what would have happened to y'all if y'all would have been tripping. Oh, wow. I was like, I was like, you never know who you you never know who you, you what fucking would have right, happened. Right, yeah. Right. And that nigga was like, oh. wow. He probably was mad at his homies like, man, I'm up. He's like, ah, oh, this yeah. nigga. Right. He's like this nigga. Oh. And So was he making beats? Nah. He wasn't he was rapping. Oh. I got him to to, to make beats. He Crazy. was rapping. Oh. I got him to make beats because we was getting beats from some of the niggas, oh. like my nigga Abe used to make beats, and we was getting beats from people, and then we, like, then we couldn't. Like, right. people were having it, and they wouldn't. Right. <clears throat> and Ricky right. used to um, DJ and shit. Okay. He used to DJ breakdowns. Like, he's really into the hip-hop culture. Right. Like, I was more hustler, right. like, street-oriented, street-oriented, and I liked to rap. Right. I ain't no shit about, like, the science, the hip hop, and none of that shit. Right. I learned that from from him, and then from other people like Calbo and certain niggas like that. that I saw being around, and they start and Gordon, my nigga Gordon Cooks, he put me up on like uh, there was the niggas like Wu Tang and Redman and uh, right. uh, Smith and Wesson and all these niggas, and I'm like, all right, because I didn't know, like. Right. I had literally no clue. Like, I knew Crucial Conflict. Right. I knew Twister. Yeah, so you know, I knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, them niggas from the west side of Chicago. Yeah. Only nigga we had from the south side hey, of Chicago was Common. No, common. And it wasn't, it wasn't no G's that was rapping. Right, right. Like, right. besides, like, a Dayton family and shit. Dayton from, family. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I was listening to shit like that. And, like, getting, back. Them, getting them old school. Dayton uh, family. Dayton family. Dayton family. MJG coming out hard. Uh, taste to come. Because, you know, Memphis and, and Illinois is connected. Okay. So, right. Illinois. And Illinois and, and Memphis, we right there. It's been so crazy. Literally, like it's so like the everybody ball, slide through. So MJG, you was all on that. That's yeah, the first was, Memphis. All my big, Three, six, my my big brothers and all them was on that. So as a kid, I'm getting all this, yeah. all the younger shit. And as a shorty, huh. what, what my brother told me I was going to rap, Rob, rest in peace. He said, yeah, I'm going to be a rapper because I could memorize songs. He would play shit like one or two times and then he'd play it again and I'd be rapping up and I would know it word for word. And he'd be like, how do you know all that shit? Like, what was one song? I was a little kid too. And it was Ice Cube. Once Upon a Time in the Projects. Once Upon a Time in the And I was rapping that whole project, shit. And I was like a little shit, you know, with a little baby voice yeah. rapping shit. My brother was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And so he would play music for me and stop it and then rap that shit. And I rap that wow. shit and he like, man, that's, and to this day I can hear a song once or twice and know their verses. That's crazy. I can hear a song on the radio, right here on the CD and be like, oh yeah. What? And I can rap that shit along. Crazy. Like, I know all what they say. Is it easy for you to remember your verses? It's really not. It's really not. Because a lot of times I like, um, this like the last two albums I freestyle half and wrote half, but for like four years I only freestyle. Okay. I just never told people I freestyle oh. the songs. I didn't know you freestyle half. Cause I'm not like a um, 
I'm not like a battler. Like battler. I'm not like, oh, when your shoes are smart. Like, <laughs> hey, that's not, I like listening to that shit though. I love to watch those shits and watch them be clowning niggas. Like, yeah, yeah. like disaster and shit. Like oh, that yeah, shit he yeah, did, yeah. the counter was, like that shit, that shit, like yeah, yeah. that blew my mind. <laughs> Like I was watching that like, man, this nigga. They be going to add it, took his soul. That, like, yeah. that nigga. You don't get cannabis? Yeah, like, yeah. I hadn't, like, because these niggas said he's like, he feels like he's killing this. I Like, the way he broke it, right. like, man, this boy's cold. That's like, that breaking. shit made me get into that shit. That's like, why Fikes breaking yeah. out the motherfucker. But me, I'm a freestyler, like, like, freestyle, like, yeah. nigga, off the dome. Right. Like, it's not right. real. Right. I don't right. have right. anything. Not yeah. memorized. Freak thought, yeah. And... I'm gonna do a song. Mm -hmm. Like, I freestyle verse, hook. You know what I'm saying? That's how Snoop did. I'll memorize album. that same hook. Mm -hmm. Like, I can freestyle yeah. a verse, right. freestyle a hook, freestyle another verse, and I'll remember that right. same hook that I freestyle okay. and put back in. So, okay. like, I just go freestyle songs. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And sometimes they just don't need no correction. Gotcha. And it's been because it there's like two or three songs That's on the last crazy. one like that. And then sometimes I'll do it and I'll be like, this shit hard. Then I'll. Adjust, sit with man. it for a week, mm. yeah. and then I'm like, you know what? That was a little bit too gangsta. Or, you know what? I don't want to lead people the wrong way with this yeah. shit. Because, yeah. you know, if you talking off the top of your dome, nigga, I'm you, talking about real life. So I might yeah. be, so, I might have said some shit that was really crazy. Right, right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that can't come no. out. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that can't you come don't want to delete that 4-4, yeah. right. man. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll punch exactly. that, and then I just, you know, yeah. come back yeah. in and fix that. And all then, right. like, all my hooks, even when I write, even on verses, the where the verses are written, I always freestyle the hooks. Because I feel that energy, the hook is the one that's the catchiest part right. of the song, the song that people remember. So you freestyle the hook? Yeah, I, writing the hook is, is like the dumbest that's shit right. to me. I think I think it puts too much structure in the hook. Like like a verse should be structured. You know, you got eight, twelve, or sixteen. However you gonna That's do it. Deep right there. And you should be able to your verse should like from bar one should connect. It should like it, it should um, culminate to bar sixteen. Like it should make sense. Like this one line brought you to this one. A hook you don't need none of that shit. A hook is just really the energy of the record. So. I just go in and just do the and like say if I write a verse, I'll go kick the verse and then I I like Ricky Eric record or if Ricky ain't recording, I'm recording myself or one of my little boys. Right. Mm -hmm. And one of my sons, I have him in there recording me right. and then I just go in there mm -hmm. and just freestyle it. It's crazy. I love and I just it. go. You know what I mean? Because then it's like yeah. it's, it's, it's almost like I'm featuring with somebody. Right. Because it's different energy. That's wrong. Right. When you're writing it's really precise. Structure. It's, structure. It's, it's, it's concise and it's to the point. To like the you point. said, structure. Right. And it's like it's like a Writing a writing a verse to me is like creating a business plan. Right. You know what I mean? Like if you want to get a loan, you want to do something like that, yeah. or if you're gonna start any type of entrepreneurial business, you, you need to have a business yeah. plan. plan. You yeah. know what I mean? So writing a verse like verses, that's my business plan. It's a structure and it's telling you why and this, this and that. And the hooks is just that's just the yeah. the hooks is just the product. Right, right, like, right, right. You know, it's like the bounce of it. I can just listen to the beat and the bounce, and now I'm just okay. That's I'm a going skill, on bro. Yeah. That's a skill, Man, I appreciate bro. that, guys. That's a skill, I be in bro. Your movie, you know, no, that's a skill. Show, be tight. That's a skill, bro. Because the not only is the hook the energy, the hook is the most featured part mm -hmm. of the song. So and I never it's read open those. to it's open to the most critique. Mm -hmm. And you kill your hooks. Yeah, I never write that's, the hooks because it's just, it, bro. It's the energy of the beat. You know what I mean? Dope. The energy of the beat. I never heard that. I heard Snoop freestyle most of his first album, but mm -hmm. not the hooks. You know, their hooks are structured. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? That's, that's, a, that's some sick shit right there, bro. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. It, man. I can't take no credit for it. I get a glory to God. Man. Absolutely. So, you say that, but I get, I don't, I'm humble. I don't take no mm -hmm. anything yeah. good. I just give it up to God. I ain't like Snoop Lion or going to do gospel albums, but I'm a real spiritual person. I believe, like, like only reason I'm here is because of God. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And if you, like, when you, like, that would be good to get Preach. you in the movie. Like, when you see, Preach. you go through it, you'll see, like, fam, there's no way. Like, how is this nigga here? Preach. Like, I don't have the normal rapper story. Preach. Like, right. like, it's not like, and a lot of niggas may have lived in the hood or may have lived in certain situations, but I was in situations even while living in very nice areas, okay. it was still the craziest shit gotcha. going on. Like, no matter where I go, <laughs> it's been bullshit. You know what I mean? Gotcha, like, it's been bullshit. So, I try to, 
I never want to go somewhere and be like, now what if I'd have came in like, oh yeah, nigga, my hooks is all the shit. All my, what if I'd have been bragging about I'm freestyle? Okay. And what if, how embarrassed would I have been if you wasn't feeling it? If, if you'd have been like, oh, oh, that makes sense. I was wondering why it wasn't as tight. It was probably, so it was freestyle. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yep. I would have felt bad yep. as fuck. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I always <laughs> downplay crazy, everything. Man. So, I'll let someone else exalt me. Like, if that, you really that's like in the Bible it, too. you can bring it up. That's in the Bible, too. Real talk. Uh, Jesus said, let, let, let someone else exalt you. Don't exalt yeah. yourself. Never sit yeah. at the table, at, at the space of honor at the table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what I'm talking about, man. Right, I'm on it, bro. <laughs> yes, sir, right. man. Cash is man. I'm loving this interview, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we we yeah. definitely gonna bring you back, Cash. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. You right there. You right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, before we get out of here, um. Uh, uh, oh, one more thing. Oh. I got a weed strain called Euthanasia. That's the strong oh, weed hold on. popping. Time Cash has got a weed strain called Euthanasia. Yeah. No. Time yeah. <laughs> Fuck what I'm talking about. Hold up. Time on. Hold up. Hold up. Euthanasia. Mm -hmm. Tupac's uh, the same Tupac name. Mm -hmm. You got a weed. Where can we get this weed strain? Man, they got it at some. At a couple of the dispensaries. It's I want to get some. In, <laughs> it's a and shit right now, and I'm finna start bringing it down to OC in LA. We just we finna uh, do a new a new growth thing and get a, a okay. bunch more. But like, bro, everybody has not tried it, and there's people out there that knew how to got them from these stores and they tried. It. And niggas like that shit is. It's a. I came up with the. With the, all the the cross genetics right, and all right, that, right, like right, right, it's some shit. Right, right. Some right. strains that's put together that people won't like. You wouldn't think to you cross can't these duplicate ones. it. Nah, and oh. it's a, it took it took it took it took my niggas like like for real like a solid seven months to perfect because we had them and then we test them and it was coming out high but not the. I wanted it like. I was trying to get shit like from like 34, 35 percent or higher. So okay. we started clocking shit like high, like 21s and 22s is cool. Okay. But we started getting shit like, yeah, it's okay. like, <laughs> that shit real. So what's the euthanasia? Euthanasia, bro. Let me know when it hits LA, bro, or, oh. or, or even Lower Orange County, because Anaheim is close, bro. Let me know. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be checking out. Oh, yeah, you know, sure. they've been on me to do uh like little. Album reviews and stuff. I'm gonna start doing the album man, reviews. Do that. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, I got you, bro. Oh, man, you know, but that. you already know. But I'm doing a weed review too. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I mean, I want to do that. I was thinking about doing a. Um, maybe we could do it. I was thinking man. about doing a fucking like a blog thing just about like weed and music. Let's do it, bro. You know let's start a new fucking segment. Y'all heard it there first, bro. Yeah, let's do that for sure. Let's do that for sure. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that 100%, right? Yeah, I'm the smoke. Oh, oh, oh yeah, bro. Okay. I got a gang of girls. I, got, I do all these. Like, yeah. I'm doing the OC Cannabis uh, Award show. I do a, a, a bunch of these, you know, the, the weed festivals and all that shit. So I know a lot of people okay. that's doing big shit. When's your next one? Uh, October 4th, the OC Cannabis Awards. So before I'm gonna be presenting the awards and I'm doing a that got like a 15 minute set. Uh, Bone Thugs and I'm gonna go be there performing no too. It's a bunch of people go be there, man. Uh, the Dove Shack. Uh, shit, it's a bunch of people I looked up on that list. Like, oh man, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. So it's gonna be tight. And that's the OC Cannabis. Yes. OC Cannabis Awards. Yeah. Awards. OC yeah. Cannabis Awards. Mm -hmm. October 4th. October 4th no at way. the Garden Grove Amphitheater. So man, come do some big ass support, cashes, smoke some good. Oh, definitely. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody know me know I'm about that. Like. Mm -hmm. And y'all stay tuned for this uh, little, little uh, you know what I'm saying, m you know, meeting of the minds with this new little show. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, tell the fans where they can um, find you on social media, get your products. Um, <laughs> Last words, get out of cash. All right. <laughs> For uh, social media, uh, what is it? On Instagram, it's the real cash. I'm my niggas. I'm trying to really get better with this fucking social media shit. I believe it's like telling on yourself. I am not in the posting what I'm on, but I'm learning how to get better at this shit. I'm letting my daughter start doing it. She she really big on this shit. She like crazy with it. So I'm gonna. Uh, I don't even know how to repost. Uh, niggas be posting shit. I'm like, how do you do that? I'm gonna take a picture of it and post it. I don't know how to do that shit, man. I be focused on other shit, but real caches. That's Twitter. I mean, that's fucking Instagram. <clears throat> At the real caches. That's Twitter. My website finna launch um, soon. Uh, within the next two three weeks, that's gonna be popping. And 
That's it. You see me anywhere, man. Y'all know what's up. I always got some on me. So if you see me, holla at me. I, I'm good to go at all times. And um, be on the lookout for CH. Get CH4 right now. Bang that. Go crazy with that. Then get CH5 when it come out in December. Along with Roll. I got BBG. The the bogus the bogus boy tape is coming out in December also. And I'm introducing my homeboy Chronic from the East Coast. We doing this thing called the Roll Up. It's a rap group. And it's gonna be a, a just tapes just about smoking and bars, just hella weed and hella bars. Ain't no like no like that's a side where I can show a showcase a different side of me. Like we got the the gangster shit, we got all this, and this me and my partner all we do is just blow big weed and just kick bomb ass rap. So it's gonna be like that strictly for that for that fan base for the people that smoke. You know what I'm saying? And then stay tuned at the top of the year, because it's a whole bunch of more shit. Whole bunch of more shit I ain't gonna talk about yet. I wanna give niggas a little bit of time. I'm gonna I'm get a home your reason to bring me back another game. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Cash, man. It's yeah. been an honor, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate I you, bro. Shit, bro. I appreciate you, bro. For